Hi, everyone. Yay. Welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm Nettles, and you are here for another one of our debates. So I have a little bit of an intro to go into, um, and I'll be messing with technology, so please bear with me. But I have a little bit of an intro to go into. Ooh, reverb. What's that? My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> that? No. Didn't have so um today's debate is Kristen cole versus john snow and i want to kind of walk you through why i picked this specific debate and the reason is because when i first heard that like house of the dragon had been greenlit and they were going to do it before it had been cast i kind of had a daydream that like this would kind of be like American Horror Story or like the world of like Mike Flanagan, where they use the same actors but playing different roles. And I'm an actor and I like the idea of like actors stretching, which means like playing roles opposite of their type or different than what they usually play. So um, I think my first thought was that Jon Snow would play Kristen Cole. Like, I don't know the actors' names, but I put together <laughs> this kind of uh, um, I hope everybody could see this. Yeah, kind of like what I thought that in, in my head what the show would be. And so I was going through like my journals. And so I saw this. So I just wanted to share with you guys because I'm a nerd. Some of these you'll probably <laughs> um <laughs> Some of these you'll probably like disagree with and probably want to fight me on, but whatever chat, write it in the chat if there's other things you would have gone for. But yes, I would have loved to see Kit Harrington playing the villain since he played the little pretty boy, you know, in, in Game of Thrones, but playing Kristen Cole. And then I thought Jamie would be a great Damon. <laughs> um, Arnett Stark playing Corlys Valerion. Put on that wig, put on the wig, Sean Bean. Um, <laughs> Sal Sansa as Helena. Yes, her going crazy and stretching and playing that kind of character. I saw Daenerys as Allison. I wanted her to play the villain as well. Um, Cersei as Rhaenyra. You know, she loves her children. <laughs> um, of course, Mushroom, Peter Dinklage. Come on. <laughs> uh, I thought Jorah would make a good Viserys, King Viserys. Um, and then, of course, me as Nettles. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got a plug, got a plug. Um, I thought Kat would be a good Ama. We had enough of her in Game of Thrones. Just like give her that one and done Ama role. And then Brienne as a good Rainies. I wanted to see her as a brunette. Um, Lenor, <laughs> Lena, why not? I thought Varys would make a good Cregan Stark. I know y'all are gonna be mad about that. <laughs> um, Bran Stark as Jaceris. Adam Valerion, that's Rickon. I wanted him to have a bigger role. Um, Dayron, little Dayron at Old Town. Um, I thought Sam. Oh, would be a, no. Would do the hammer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sam. Why not? Off the white? Come on. The betrayers? You don't. <laughs> I wanted to see Rob Stark as Eamon One Eye. Yeah. I want to see him play the villain. Nice. Um, Alistair is auto. Like, nobody could hate like this man. That nobody can hate as this man. Like, he hates so well. Um, Davos has club foot. That's another one. Just seeing him, like, play against his type. Like, be the sniveling coward um, instead of the greatest dad. <laughs> um, Arya as the white worm. Only because oh, she's she was saying how like she felt like they kept babying her and she begged to have that sex scene because she wanted to be she wants to play more sex. Oh, roles. I didn't know that. I hated that scene. Oh, she <laughs> begged for it. She's like, I'm in my 20s now. Everyone thinks I'm nine years old. I want a sex scene. They're like, all right. Oh, God. they should have said no. <laughs> Alice Rivers put give her give her a wig. Um, oh hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Harwin Strong, come on. <laughs> you, know, you went That's in a lot of directions part. I wouldn't have thought of with this. This is cool. Theon as Aegon too. <laughs> um, I love Theon so much. Dalton Greyjoy. Dalton Greyjoy. I hope the show goes. I'd rather see him as Damon. 
You, I know he would be a good Damon, but yeah, um, that's just a little, <laughs> what do they call it? Like a icebreaker to get you into where my head was at. So yeah, that's, that's where I drew the parallel between Kristen Cole and Jon Snow. And I started thinking of them as characters. So that's how we got this debate. So, um, let's, let's see who my fellow contestants are. First up, we have Rider of Ka Karma, an actual possum. An Where actual else possum. on the internet can you have an actual possum? Please I'm a introduce knight. yourself. I'm real. I have toes. You could count them. And, <laughs> oh. and I have a cape because I've become part of the King's Guard to defend the Kingmaker, the Honorable Scholar and Gentleman, Sir Christian Cole. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm a possum. I usually play video games, but I'm also a very big fan of Game of Thrones. And you know me from the chat. Oh, yeah. Um, Phil H. said, who would be Damon in your list? Do you want to answer that? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, um, out of anybody in the world or just the list you put? Because I already said I would make it. Um, Someone from I, Game I, of I Thrones. Because there are some people I left out because I just couldn't cast them. Like Egret, Stannis, Tywin, Bronn, Osha, Lysa. There's other, there's a you lot know, more actors. You know, I really actors. liked that original guy they cast as... um. Dario. Oh, original him. Dario is Damon. The yeah. weird looking guy, the first guy, he would have been cool. He he's he's looking. been in so many things now. Is he? Okay. I never saw him in anything else. Rebel Moon. I'll have to look it up. On oh, is that that Zack Schneider thing? Yeah. Zack Schneider. All Where'd right, we have the green way? bar. Oh, um, the possum is on Team Kristen Cole, everybody. Team mm -hmm. Kristen Cole. All right, Green Bard, please introduce yourself. Tell the people where they can find you. I'm Guy. I'm the Green Bard. Um, I have a YouTube channel, The Green Bard. Um, I post all sorts of stuff about Westerosi, uh, mainly the beast, uh, the the dragons, the the, the wolves, the dire wolves, and uh, some some other stuff about uh, magic blood in Westeros. So that's that's my thing. Um, very tinfoily, but. Also, I, I'd say pretty smart. So, if if, if I don't mind uh, mind that, and I'm I'm on Twitter. Every once in a while, I post on Reddit, but not there very much anymore. But yeah, so that's me, Song of Ice and Fire nerd for sure. Awesome. And to answer Phil H's questions, who would you put as Damon from the what, from the past who, Game of Thrones cast? Who would I put as Damon? Oh, that's yeah. that's a good one. Um, I I don't want to answer who I would put as Damon. I I I, I would have put Don't Robert Bar the chat down. I would have put the Robert Baratheon character as hard Hugh Hammer though. Um, yeah. So obvious. Why you want to typecast that man? <laughs> well, actually, I don't know if you ever played the, the Witcher game, but I swear to God that that one of the um uh the Baron in that in that game is the same is the same same the uh, Bloody movie. Baron. Yeah, yeah. identical. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> so he's already been typecast. I, I can't help it. <laughs> what a great story though bloody baron all right our next contestant is cody king cody who's on team john snow boo with green boo. bar yeah, well cody. uh hey everyone thanks for having me uh i think i look too much like john snow to not fight on behalf of john snow in this battle uh i appreciate nettles for having me back this is my second time on her channel uh i am a football content creator i do a podcast for the carolina panthers uh and i'm happy to be here today uh repping my man john snow uh and listen there's nothing targaryens love more than burning some dornish man you feel me so uh i'm happy to be here man and i'd pick uh jamie lannister to play damon targaryen i think hey, the same, same as mine yeah I, I think that was we do oh so i'm so sorry i, I, <laughs> I talk over people <laughs> No, you're good. I was finished. That, that's it for me. Happy to be here. And uh, let's let's do it. So today we do have a judge, Richard. Yeah. So, um, like this, of course... this might be an important role given these characters because I feel like the, the fandom bias is all tilted against one and for the other. The judge is so wise. Do you hear that? He's so smart and handsome. Thank you. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm uh, Richard of House York on Twitter and Blue Sky. I'm Asher's Trueborn Son on YouTube, but you mostly see me on Old New Dude's channel and, and I guess a few times now here. Um, 
And uh, um, Guy, I thought your, your last video was your best yet. That was, uh, maybe that's because it was about secret Targaryens and that's kind of my thing and you kept shouting me out. Well, I, I, I definitely <laughs> did talk about your channel. Hopefully you get a little bit of traffic there from it. You know, mm -hmm. that, that was part of the reason I did it. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go through the rules of this debate. So it's going to be done like high school debate style. So there will actually be questions We'll ask a question. Each team will go for a round. If the teams choose, we'll have a rebuttal. And then Richard, our, our judge, will, will decide which team gets that point. Now, the chat, you're able to say whatever you want. Try to sway the judge. Richard will be looking at the chat. Richard will be the one um, making the tallies for the teams. So um, feel free to try to sway him. But, of course the uh the final decision is with the judge now for the emojis i'm not sure what we should do at first i thought maybe the wolf and the lightning bolt wolf for john snow lightning bolt for uh kristen cole since he does his house as a steward of house don darian but some people put um a clown for kristen cole i don't know why why please booking in the chat the yeah. the the dookie symbol i don't know guys i, don't I like understand. that one do the turd emoji oh krispy kreme the donut the donut <laughs> might be good for krispy kreme <laughs> should we do that I love it. yeah do the donut. okay wolf wolf versus donut yay donuts always win all right chat <laughs> so whenever you're feeling that the argument for kristen cole is winning post those donuts if you feel the argument for Jon Snow, post that wolf. Donut versus wolf. And also, please keep in mind that make your votes based on the arguments made in this here debate. Don't just vote for which character you find to be the hottest or which character you just like. Like, please, make it <laughs> based on the arguments, like, like I just said. So, um... Do we have any questions before we start? Let's see which teams, which team should go first. Are we going to wrap rock, paper, scissors for him? Um, I think Kristen Cole's at a major disadvantage here. I said we let them go first. Well, the, <laughs> the, advantage goes, advantage. the advantage goes to the person who makes the last statement. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys say? Donut Passing or wolf? Knows which how to team, debate. Passing which team should go school. first? Chat, donut or wolf? <laughs> donut. Just chat. Help me out. So once again, we have Cody and Green Bard who are on Team Jon Snow. Chat, chat is not very helpful. They got they got both of the. the they got the both cream. of them. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got, we got <laughs> donuts. Okay, Krispy yeah, Kreme. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. I'm ready to go first. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, Richard, do you want to read this question? question? Right, sorry. Sorry yeah. about that. Mr. of Tinfoil uncovered the donut conspiracy. Which <laughs> man is better inspires loyalty among his followers? Which man better inspires loyalty among his followers? Okay, before we start, yeah, I just want to say Maester of Tinfoil says if you if you type in donut D O N U T. It won't show up, but if you spell it D O U G H N U T, then uh, it'll show up for the emoji. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Which man better inspires loyalty among his followers? Here we go. Okay. People think that the dance of the dragons is about Rhaenyra and Aegon too. It's actually about Damon and Kristen Cole. Yes. Yes. The King Maker. Did I say that? I said the Kingmaker, that's his name. The Kingmaker took on the dragons and his side won. His Aegon killed Rhaenyra, his side won. The people who followed Kristen followed him because they knew he would win. Team Green was able to uh, rally more important houses than Team Black because the realm believed in Kristen over Daemon, even though Daemon had a dragon. 
The Kingmaker convinced Aegon to take the throne, and everyone listened to Kristen and bowed down. What's the definition of loyalty? It's a strong feeling of support or allegiance. That's something the other side didn't have because Kristen Cole took it all. Jon Snow was stabbed by the men sworn to him. Is that loyalty? No. Jon Snow inspires no loyalties. Sure, the wildlings were loyal to Jon, but because they had no other choice, it's either Jon or the freaking others. So that doesn't even count. Kristen Cole inspires way more loyalty uh, over John, and that's my time. All right, Team John Snow, Green Bard or Cody? I can I can go if you don't if you don't mind, Cody. Okay. Have at it. Oh, and All by right. the way, when you have like about five seconds left, I'll like just lift up my hand, which means like gotcha. wrap up your your last one or two sentences. All right, Rich, you want to read us the question, or actually? <laughs> Yeah, I, I got the question. I, I, I know. Better requires loyalty among his followers. All right, thanks. And your time starts now. John made true friends. He collected Sam, uh, Ed, uh, Gren, Pip, Halder, many more in, in the watch. He had rangers like Giant and Dywin in his side. He he collected almost all the wildlings he met. Except for Stir, Stir's son, uh, because well, he killed him. Um, but in, in leaders and kings, M Mance, Aemon, Stannis, Tyrion, Donald Noy, uh, Jir Mormont. In his only mistake was ignoring Mel um, about those folks who never would have had any loyalty to give. Um, so now jo John collected loyalty and everyone he met in every space of, of life. Uh, by contrast, um, you know, those, those people loyal to, to Crisp and Cole, they were actually loyal to empty chival oh, empty chivalry and chauvinism, not, um, not to him. John was the man. John, John was the one who inspired people when he spoke. Okay. Boo. Boo. Boo that. I want to rebut. <laughs> that was a bunch of nonsense an absolute bunch of nonsense first of all he was not the man nobody respected him he was the bastard and they had to cut through three other starks before anybody wanted to make him in charge of anything whenever he was presented with the chance to be in charge he said no thank you until there was absolutely no other choice but all that aside about john let's talk about Kristen cole the man who died at the butcher's ball and who did he die at the hands of a bunch of Stark Northman, who when he offered his life in return for the safety of his men, was cut down by arrows by a bunch of cowards who were too scared to fight him, three on one. You want to talk about a man who inspires people even after his death? You look at a man who did that, who sacrificed himself for his men. And you want to think even more about it? Think about Allison and the state of mind she was in when she decided to trust Kristen Gold. The idea that she had been betrayed by everybody she had ever known and lost everything and still, still trusted him after, after all time. of that? Boom. I'm, I'm done. Reclaim May I time. respond? Of course. And the only, the right, only yeah. living beings who follow oh. Kristen Cole are the flies attracted to the stench of his treachery. Jon Snow is the heads above shoulders leader and inspires men compared to Kristen Cole. He got the, the the Night's Watch to follow him by his actions, and they voted for him to be their leader. He did the right thing for the Wildlings, who he also inspired, who he was able to reach out to and use his own personal feelings and be, and be able to speak to them and understand them on the level that they'd never been understood before. Jon Snow rallies men to fight and die for him. Kristen Cole could never know that type of honor and that type of bravery. This isn't even a competition. Jon Snow is one of the best leaders in all a song of ice and fire. I yield the rest of my time. All right. I have a quick rebuttal, Ryder. Um, and you could jump in. I won't need the full the full minute, okay? I'm in. Have something to say. All right. Mm -hmm. So my uh, first rebuttal is that um, please be reminded that we're talking about loyalty and Jon Snow was stabbed by his employees and his co-workers. That equals no loyalty. And let's not forget that during the dance, we had houses that flipped 
the houses that were originally black that became green. House Rosby, House Mooton, House Valerion, House Stokeworth, House Butterwell, okay? So Kristen Cole is able to make his enemies come on his side because he inspires loyalty. Karma, if you have something else to close this up. I just want to say their entire argument is shambolic because saying that the end of the world, which John used to get everybody to come together, was the same as everybody rallying around him as a person is nonsense and counterfactual. People were afraid of the, the apocalypse impending. That's why they got together, not because they liked the bastard Jon Snow. Who has Kristen okay. Cole ever inspired? I yield my time. Now you okay. can go. Do you guys have a rebuttal, Bard, yeah, Cody? Absolutely. I just sure. I just have a question. Who is it? Ever wait, wait, you, uh, it has to be in the time frame. Okay. <laughs> do or do you want to ask your question and then let Green Bar go? go? He, 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 Cody, you can go first. But I, I do have a, a ten for twenty seconds though. All right. Here I'm you just go. saying. Na na name a moment in any of Kristen Cole's tellings, any of his story that he was ever inspiring people. We have multiple moments with John inspiring people throughout the Song of Ice and Fire series. We ne nearly have anything with Kristen Cole doing anything of the sort. The, the, the people that it, it, that betrayed Jon Snow were small-minded, uh, dare I say, conservatives on the wall who, 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 who were racist against wildlings. I mean, they were the most pathetic yeah. people in the world. Yes, Jon had a, had a problem with messaging to those types of people. He, he didn't quite get how to talk to them. But I don't think he expected them to be so stupid either. So, yeah, he, John inspired loyalty among everyone else. These are literally the 1% of, of people who were in a, a crazy cult. Um, but Kristen Cole, he didn't even get, get the all seven Kingsguard to follow him. He's supposed to be the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. He couldn't even get all seven of the Kingsguard to follow him out of the green side. So, no, no, that, that, that argument doesn't hold water for me. Okay. Thank God we have such a handsome and wise judge. <laughs> wow. That, that, there were some great points there. I, I, I was being swayed in different directions during that debate. It's, it was uh, pretty Chat, funny. you could let the judge know what you think while he is deciding. I wrote down a bunch of points here. Like donuts. Some are, some are clearly more, more relevant than others. Um, hmm. Well, are we seeing any of the? Is anybody making any? Oh, okay. They're be... all scared to be wrong. Uh, in your spine. <laughs> donuts. Well, we're doing a pretty good mixture now. I mean, we did have that one king of the north earlier too. Yeah, I. I, I yeah, we're doing, we're doing a pretty good mixture now. Not stabbed by his men. Kristen Cole was not stabbed by his men. <laughs> not stabbed by your people. You're leading. Check. <laughs> I think I would I would give this to to Kristen. Um, yeah! I thought, I was especially persuaded by your, your argument of the number of houses that, that, that flipped and so, so forth. Yeah, that was that was cheap though because oh, Valerians yeah. didn't, didn't didn't flip. That was BS. I forgot about that in my rebuttal. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> and those damn crows were treason. Oh, join join the, join, <laughs> join the council so he could kill kill the other king. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> Yeah, Jon Snow, since you guys are losing, you guys can go first next. Who wants to go first? <laughs> which, number two, which is the better family man? And who wants to go first? Cody. Who's going first? Cody, go ahead. The better family man is Jon Snow. Listen, we know that one of the last things that Rob Stark did was legitimize his bastard brother because he knew how important it would be for the North to have a Stark in Winterfell. And let's be real, John is so different in the show than in the books. He wants to be the Lord of Winterfell in the books. He wants to ride out and go defend uh, his brother. He wants to be a part of the war against the Lannisters, especially after they killed his father, after his father never told him his true parentage. A and listen, not even to mention his relationship with Arya, one of the closest one of the closest relationships between two family members in all the show and all the books and all the Stark family. John will go above and beyond to protect his family, and to protect those he loves. Something Kristen Cole would never do. 
All right, that's your time. Ryder, you want to go first this time? Yeah, me first, me first, because that's nonsense. All right, <laughs> that's the exact <laughs> reason he's not a good family man. His his father was killed. The whole plan of him going up to the Night's Watch should have been kiboshed the second his dad's head got cut off, and his little sisters were kidnapped, and his little brothers were sitting like, you know, target practice in freaking Winterfell, and his other brother's going off to die. I mean, who in their right mind just decides to not go? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you took an oath and they'll put you to death if you don't go, but you're going off to war where you're likely going to die. So you might as well try. What did he accomplish? What did he prove? He ended up breaking all those oaths anyway. Meanwhile, you know who ended up saving his sister? Reek. Jon Snow has less family, <laughs> family loyalty and courage than freaking Reek. I yield my time. Oh, damn. Damn. Why y'all got the possum mad? Mad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this one. And your time starts now. I never noticed um, any argument for Kristen Cole in that. That's kind of odd. In interesting. Probably because he abandoned his family for in search of honor and glory. Um, of course, he, he found no honor, but anyway. Um, John, on the other hand, he loved all his brothers, sisters, and um, and father. He, uh, he gave Arya a sword uh, upon parting as a parting gift. He 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 told Rob, even though even though Catelyn was a jerk to him, he told Rob, "No, nah, your mother was fine on their parting because he didn't want to upset him. Uh, he he wanted to run off to war when, when his brother was going south. He he wanted to be there for his family. He was stopped for his new family. He was a, a brother of the Night's Watch. He had brothers, and he took Sam under his wing. He took took Pip, Pip, Pip and Grand under his wing. He was a brother to them as as much as he was a brother to Arya." Later on, John's um, POV siblings, they fondly think of him. Even Sansa, who, let's, let's quite, quite let, I mean, really, let's think of it. No, he, he was time. So a man. That, that um, would be time, reclaiming my you, time. Can you show us your shirt? <laughs> lemon gate, isn't that cute to everyone? I love it. <laughs> what a scandalous lemon. But that was um, some horrible arguments you made. It didn't, it didn't really make Awful. sense. It was a lemon of an argument. <laughs> All right. Who is the better family man? All right. So it's safe to say that Kristen Cole comes from a good family. How do I know that? Because they're the stewards to House Dondarrion. House Dondarrion was founded when a messenger was ambushed by two Dornishmen while riding on the marches on a stormy night. And he was just about to die. The Dornishmen were going to do away with him. And then a burst of purple lightning bolt came down and killed both Dornishmen. Does that sound like regular life? No. Does that sound magical and destined and something that's going to be important to the story? Yes, it does. Yes, so it Don does. Darian was was formed under those circumstances. So the Kingmaker's morality stems from a destiny-filled house like House Dondarrion. You could tell that he would make a good father because Kristen Cole was such a great father figure to the green boys. Eamon is the top fighter in top three fighter in all of Westeros because of how good of a father and he figure only has one that eye. Kristen Cole is, it like is. So uh, definitely the better family man. He comes from, ah, uh, that's my time. I have, you know I have a is to fight with only one eye, all the depth perception and your sword fighting. I think it's a miracle. <clears throat> Do you guys have a rebuttal? <laughs> Yeah, I have a rebuttal. Again, there's not too much there about Kristen Cole and his family. But let's be real. The only family that Kristen Cole was ever supposed to have allegiance to was House Targaryen. And he was going to sail across the narrow sea to Essos, completely forsaking his king's guard's valve, as he already did when he bedded the queen of the realm, and forsook all of those promises and all of those vows he made to House Targaryen. That's not a great family member to me. It's just uh, obviously the family that you were with didn't even care enough. You didn't care enough about them to stay with them. You have no family to tell. And the family that you were sworn to serve, you betrayed multiple times. He's he's a shrimp. He's a worm. Nothing yeah, he, more. He wanted Rhaenyra as, as a wife. Um, that's supposed to be family as well. But on his own terms, not to give her any agency. And sure. the minute she, she spoke up for what she wanted, he was done with her. No, he, this is not a family man. This is a man who's only for himself. I got a rebuttal. I, I, I have a rebuttal, and then I'll, I'll, I'll give you the rest of the time, Karma. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, because, listen, no. So, 
John is a shitty family man. He's a shitty son, a shitty brother, and he would be a shitty father. He's a sh shitty son because he's always so sullen. Imagine being a parent, no matter what you do, no matter how you plan his birthdays or give him Christmas gifts. He's like, oh, thanks. Oh, making you feel bad all the time. He's a shitty brother because his mere existence puts his siblings at risk. And he doesn't come through for Rob. Do you know what? If Jon Snow was there with Rob, Rob would still be alive. But because Jon is a shitty she brother- he did not. He did not make it there. He did not mean that much to Rob. And then he would make a shitty father because he doesn't even want kids because he's afraid of them being bastards. He doesn't care about the life that would that they would lead. He just cares that they would be bastards. So he doesn't even want kids. So he'd be a shitty son, a shitty brother, and a shitty father. Bad family. Man. If Joffrey Bar Baratheon had my little sister, there's nothing on Garth's green earth that would keep me from going down there and saving her. What kind of person wouldn't? But beyond all that. Um, the, the very fact that you again would make the argument against Kristen Cole when the fact that he filled in not only as a father for the princes, but he filled a fatherly role that was meant for a king when he wasn't even experienced as a noble. He was a and steward's time. son acting like a king. I have and to rebut. I have no, to rebut. No, you had to rebut. Oh, no. damn it, man. No, no so way. treason in here, dude. I don't think we All need right. to rebut Cody, really. I mean, seriously. No, you're you right. No, rebuttal. you're right. He's right. He's right. He's <laughs> I mean, right. Do we, do we really need to rebut that? <laughs> no, he's right. He's 100%. Yeah. If you have something to say, I hope, I hope say, Richard's, you Richard's say smile after. is, is, is <laughs> enough we need there. Look, I'm not, afraid. I'm not afraid to go in another round. I'm not afraid to go in another round. I'll go in another round. No, no. No, if you have something to say, you could say it quickly after Rich although, makes this decision. Although I personally have, would have pointed out that John killed John. John uh, turned on his wife. <laughs> I, I successfully avoided that. <laughs> Good job. I'm not bringing that up. There were too many I points mean, to we make. I did not think about how. I mean, hey, he never killed her, man. He, he didn't. Uh, he know. never killed it's her. It's not clear if you think he changed his arrow twice. He takes his arrow twice and then he says he didn't kill her. He tells himself that he didn't kill her. It's not quite as clear as you think. Anyway, you got you guys did. You guys did win the did win the po the point, but, but you the, the, the um John John gets the point. It's yeah. <laughs> what Daniel Dipka he said. Didn't, no didn't John dream Is about killing one? Rob? Cole raised four kids. <laughs> look at look at what Daniel says. Didn't John dream Zero about kids. killing Rob? You forget that the Night's Watch had to stop. The Night's Watch had to stop Jon Snow from no, joining his brother. Fury over Catelyn. Jon Snow married his aunt. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that's what you do when, well, you know, you're a Targaryen. Or, uh, or a. Uh, next time, um, don't don't ever vote for them again. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, which man is smarter, has more intellect? All right, it's your turn this time, Possum, to go first. All right. Your uh, time. First of all, you know Jon Snow knows nothing. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what That's a good opener. secret power was? Being smart enough to listen to women in an age where people didn't really do that. Mm. He listened to women like they were equally intelligent people. And look how far it took him. Look how far he went just by listening to the women who were around power and, and earning their trust and being true to them. Uh, I mean, we talk about, you know, military tactics and, and all these other things, but the political maneuvering of a man who came from a lower class cannot be underestimated. To get from basically a butler's son to the, the hand of the king is unheard of, impossible until Littlefinger came around. That's the level of intellect we are talking about. Littlefinger levels, and he doesn't get credit for it, and I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. He listened to Rainey. That's part of what attracted her to him. He listened to Allison and respected her. Sorry, go ahead. I yield my time. When I say time, everyone, you're you're at least able to finish your, your sentence and your thought, okay? Yes. Cody or Bard? I'll go. Bard. All right. Which man is smarter and your time starts now. Jon Snow was gave brilliant advice to Stannis. The reason Stannis has been successful thus far in the North in the story, uh, 
let's throw away the the, the show show ending for Stannis because it was stupid. But but the reason he was successful is because John told him how to navigate the North. John knew the North like the back of his hand. He knew exactly what to do. He knew who to suspect. He knew who to befriend. He he he, he had everything memorized because he was trained well. He's a smart guy. Um, he ha had these well thought out plans for borrowing money from the Iron Bank. He, he, really intelligent stuff. Did, he, he took every, every pro problem that the watch had and he was solving them. Again, poor communicator to the, 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 the conservatives on the wall. But aside from that, John knew exactly what, what, what was the right thing to do. And he stood by it. He, he was smart. Cole, on the other hand, was just as dumb as Victorian. He was just a warrior. End time. Mm. Mm. Trashy, trashy, mm. trashy. Mm. <laughs> so who, which man is Even smarter? I wouldn't need that trash. He, <laughs> why did Kristen Cole become the kingmaker? Because he was smart. He knew the real world would not accept Rhaenyra, so he jumped onto the winning side. Being able to predict correctly means that you are able to see patterns. And seeing patterns is the cornerstone of adaptive intelligence. Adaptive intelligence means that you're most likely to survive in any circumstance. Why did he bring the heads from Rook's Rest to King's Landing to be mounted on spikes? He wanted everyone to see the heads of Lord Staunton and the head of the dragon Maley. So he made that march from Rook's Rest to King's Landing to show every small folk which side was winning. Why? Because he's smart. Why did he leave King's Landing defenseless so that Rhaenyra could claim it? Because he knew, number one, the coffers were empty, and number two, that if Rhaenyra spent any amount of time on that throne, the small folk would kill her themselves, which they metaphorically did when they stormed the dragon pit. So Kristen Cole, when it comes to making hard decision, he always makes the right decision, and that's my time. Boom. So, Cody, your time yeah. starts now. So listen, I mean, all I have to do is go back to the defense of the wall, the defense against Castle Black, to really show you how smart Jon Snow is. Keep in mind that before that, he warned Molestown of the coming invasion of the Wildlings, uh, but he had to assume command at the top of the wall after Donna Noyle requests him to, and he is the, the reason why the Night's Watch successfully holds the wall after several days of nonstop battling and warfare. I'm sorry, you don't save the wall without a high level of intelligence and intellect to be able to match his prowess in battle. This is easily Jon Snow. It's not even a competition. I yield. Okay. Um, Ryder, do you have a rebuttal? Yeah, I mean, I think we all know that Jon Snow is pretty dumb. He's pretty famous for it. He's got a dumb face. Uh, he never has a plan. He's always trying to get out of whatever responsibility he is given. Um, he, His slogan he, is, you know nothing. So Yeah, I mean, everybody knows Jon Snow's not very smart. At least so. Sam Tarly, people say that he's smart because he's known for that. But Jon Yeah, Snow's he was not. really the brains of the apparition. Like, if you're smart, people will tell you. Even Sta people say Stan is, like P Tywin. Yeah, but no one says that about Jon Snow. Dang. No, they sent him to the wall, which means they basically made him White Walker food. And Kristen Cole is, is known as the kingmaker, you know, not yeah. the not anything else, not not the dumb jock. She just knows how to kill people. He's so stupid. No, Kristen Cole is known as the kingmaker. That means he is the little finger. He is the Olena. He is the Tywin. He's making kings rise and fall intelligence that's what he has mm -hmm. yeah wake me when he is a zora high born again oh because because you need to be smart to be that here's your time go ahead do you have something to say i was so smart being born <laughs> i need Cody, about green bard i need about half of it okay go ahead okay so Rook's Rest. It's interesting. He planned Rook's Rest. You know what happened at Rook's Rest? His king, the man he's sworn to protect, got maimed and almost killed at Rook's Rest. And he's the that, that's his claim to fame. That's the one battle he really won. Sorry, no, that that was pathetic planning for a battle commander. John would would have done much better. Um, he did much better at the wall and in the defense of the wall. Um, Cody, anything else? Oh, it looks like Cody's kind of disappeared here. So, um, you have the other the time. thing I, I guess I want to say, what's that? You, I'm saying you have the time. Yeah. The, the other, the other thing I want to say here is again, 
John, he he always knew how how, how to, he was a lifelong learner. He knew how to learn from people. So he learned from Donald Noy. He learned from Maester Eamon. He learned from G.R. Mormon. John was a lifelong learner. He was very smart, and 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 that's that, that he applied himself in that way. So um, again, not 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 a dumb POV character like Barristan. He was, he was a smart guy. That was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped oh, listening. Judge. <laughs> Chat, I think let about the judge know what, what you think. Chat, yeah, pretty close. Chat wants to weigh in. They could weigh in here. Pretty close. <laughs> Who is more intelligent? <laughs> well, I, I think I have to give this to John. I'm not sure oh that my I buy. Gosh. Some, I'm not sure I buy some of these arguments. Like we took all smart to listen to women. He's 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 literally known <laughs> for hundreds of years later for for not listening to women. <laughs> They say lots of shit hundreds of years later that ain't true. He didn't true. vote for a woman, but he did listen to Actions women. Actions speak louder than words. Words could be written, you know, rumors. Well, they, That's all a bunch of defamatory really, stuff. I mean, you know what that really is? Anti-Dornish propaganda. That, they really did find a lot of things that Jon Snow really did that really were pretty brilliant. Um, I, anyway, I, I, thought that, I thought that was a good argument. Good up, Sam. baby. Play dead, possum. What's up? No, <laughs> why would you tell possum the play? We are that? officially in the lead. Then. Why do you hate criming the possum? That is an anti-possum discrimination. Question thing is a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and they said that Metal's point about letting Rhaenyra destroy herself won it for me. Come on, man. What? Big brains in the chat. Nobel Peace Prize. I need brain. I need more no, upvotes. That was on definitely the one where I was like, you know, there, there, you could I could see the the chat wanted to win. It was it was pretty close. Which man right. has better Next. emotional intelligence? Sorry, Richard. Go ahead. Say it again, please. Mm. Which man has better emotional intelligence? Um, all right, Bard, you ready? Yeah. And your time starts now. John understood Sam. He understood Egrit. He understood Arya. He understood Torment. He understood Noi and, and, and the brothers um that, that that thought he was a bully. He understood Tyrion. He understood even Catelyn. He he, he handled her. He he, he didn't take the bait. He 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 handled Mormont. He he you know he he was truthful when, when he needed to. He was contr contrite when he when he screwed up. He he handled Stannis and Melisandre. He even handled Mance. No, Jon's emotional intelligence was through the roof. Crispin, on the other hand, totally didn't get um, Rhaenyra. He just coveted her. He. He, he didn't understand Ellison, but only because of hatred. And um, he, he straight up hate crime and murdered this gay man. No, no emotional intelligence whatsoever. John's the man. Trashy. You're Rick a trashy Rick 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 <laughs> I I got this. Um, so which man has better emotional <laughs> intelligence? <laughs> Kristen and Kristen Cole alone convinced Aegon Thu to take the throne. Aegon said, I will not take part in my mother's plan. So his mother, Otto, nobody was able to convince him. It was Kristen Cole because Kristen Cole knows how to read people. He knew to put the conqueror's crown on Kristen's head. Black iron and ruby like Aegon too. Why? Uh, uh, like, a I'm sorry, like Aegon the Conqueror. Why? To hammer it home that a penis wore the crown the first time and a penis is wearing the crown now. Because why? Because Kristen Cole knows how to read people, specifically the majority of Westeros. Aegon wanted to descend on Dragonstone himself and torch Rhaenyra and her sons after blood and cheese. Nobody on the small council could talk him out of it, but who could? Kristen Cole, the one who knows how to read people. He knew that it was better to just send Eric Cargyle, a shifty, maybe traitorous Kingsguard and risk losing one Kingsguard versus risking losing Aegon two or more men. Because why Kristen Cole has emotional intelligence. He knows how to read people. That's my time. Listen, Green Bard made so many good points. I don't even have to say much. I just want to reiterate that when Crispin didn't get his way, he threw a fit and beat a man to death. What emotional intelligence is there anywhere to be had in Cole's character? 
Bart already told you how many different kinds of people Jon Snow had to be emotionally intelligent enough to interact with in order to advance not only his own plight, but the plight of everyone around him, his black brothers, the wildlings, the Northmen. This is the easiest one yet. Everyone is easier than the last one. I yield the rest of my time. I will say that Val was left off in my list. He understood her too, probably more than anybody else in the end. I have no rebuttal. I, I have a big there. rebuttal. Okay. Well, you you have a first first go. You haven't gone yet. I oh, like a big, I like, I like big a big rebuttal. Rebut I cannot yeah. lie. And your time starts now. All right. I can't believe anybody mentioned Egret's name. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you bring her up with emotional intelligence in the same sentence? How very dare. I'm saving her for later, so I'm not going to go into it further. But let's just say something about that. That is the logic of a selfish heart. The excuses he gave himself to betray her the way he did. So I guess it depends on how you define emotional intelligence is it someone who understands it enough to manipulate others selfishly while protecting number one technically that is smart egret loving him enough to keep him alive until he didn't need her anymore then ditching her for dead smart technically intelligent about emotions puppy dog eyes and pouting got him so far as a boy so why would he change as a man he is after all the ultimate victim in his own mind he could never be the abuser or or is true intelligence defined as the mind that comes to the truth that acting morally honest to even those you could otherwise manipulate and to be loyal over personal gain has more value for the greater whole than selfish accolades could ever amount to? What do you think? What do you value? Manipulation or loyalty? I'd like to go first, Cody. Sure, please. I, 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 I need to put like that. I knew this was coming back. There's, there was actually no question in my mind. John understood that Egret and himself were different. They were so different that there was no way they were going to be able to connect this, this thing uh, until the wild things were defeated. And they were defeated. Unfortunately, he tried to save her, but he could not. But he was emotionally intelligent enough to know that he and Egret were not going to see eye to eye on this no matter how much he tried. And he did try to bring her over to understanding how the South worked. Go ahead, Cody. And the fact that he even left Igret alive in the first place when he could have easily killed her, which is what he was commanded to do. And that's, you know, he didn't do it. So, I mean, he was in love. You do dumb shit when you're young and in love. Forgive a boy for, for fucking up that way. At least he didn't want to run away to Essos the minute things got hard for him uh, around Ooh. him. At least John yeah. doesn't turn tail and run. Preach. In time. Right he did it go. to the next girl. He did it to the next girl. He stabbed her in the back. He did it to every girl he ever was with. What do you mean? Forgive the young guy for what he did in the past. That He's was... a serial killer. He's Ted Bundy. He is. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> you my timing. Ted Bundy. That was fanfic. No, this is our time. And there's not a woman romantically or otherwise that john was able to read look at sansa trying to help him before the battle of the bastards any other guy Tyrion, would have been like sansa i need everything from you your your tool that i could use you know ramsey but john wasn't able to ascertain that john could have used brienne in a better way but she's around him and he's, he doesn't even pay attention to her acknowledge her Arya comes back who, who he's supposed to understand and he still doesn't understand how to use her as a perfect tool during the battle for the long night he's just horrible around women and horrible around men because men stabbed him to death okay the reason i spoke up is because you guys brought up new arguments in the rebuttal that there's no way i i could have could have that's a, a we can we can we got one of course they're new <laughs> arguments why would i just want to make the clarification argument for me I just Somebody want to make a clarification. Clarification. If, you're, if you're rehashing old shit, that's on you. I, I just want to make a clarification for Gurdev saying in the chat, emotionally intelligent doesn't always mean moral. It can be used for evil. That's absolutely correct. But the point I was trying to make is that the emotionally intelligent decision that somebody actually intelligent will reach is a moral conclusion, that it is the ultimate truth, morality. That's my argument. John stayed loyal to the watch. He 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 was performing what what Corin's um Corin's uh, command command was. 
So yeah, you said loyalty. They know there. nothing of loyalty. They're fighting for Chris and Cole. Loyalty means nothing to them. <laughs> that should be counts, obvious. Richard, Richard, none of this counts. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, it does, wow. I, it does. I actually thought you guys were going to focus more on, on, on the, the point that Nettles finally raised at the very end there, right? Which is, is that John did a terrible job with, with reading the people around him. And, and I mean, there were, there were people complaining about John. His friends were complaining about him by the end there. He, he was, he, he was, he, you know, Nettles finally brought, brought up, you know, yeah, everybody turned on him. Even his own friends were bad mouthing him. Um, what is the is the chat going to throw any anything out there? Come on, chat, wolf it up. Where's my wolf? I'm about to put a wolf up in this thing. Oh, I can't vote. Sorry. Anyway, I think it's, I think it's a I think it's some good arguments though that you guys you guys were on a roll with with some of the the good stuff John does early in his arc. Come on, come on, do the right thing. Do the right thing. The donut. <laughs> I didn't think I did think that was John was murdered by his buddies exactly. Was, and Nettles did did point it out. Yeah, I thought it was pretty close pretty close to a draw to tie as people are saying in there. Um, there's a. We've got we've got th three wolves, two donuts, and, and a tie thrown out there. But there was also the John was murdered by his buddy, the third of a third donut, which almost makes it a almost makes it a, a complete tie. Um, Chat, put the donuts. Hurry up. <laughs> John Snow uh, really I, never saw anyone's pain but his own. That's how I feel about him. He couldn't process his baggage. Like cold. my draw is meaning a tie. Yeah, I know that. We've got a lot of questions. If you want to make it a tie, that's fine, Richard. <laughs> you yeah, think? that's true, Bard. So is that All half right. a point each or no point? Let's do it. Let's say yeah. it's, uh, two, two and a half to one and a half here. It's okay. Each of us got the point. All right, cool. It's disgusting to to share with uh, John Snow. <laughs> yeah, don't just say it's disgusting and put me big on the screen like that. That was <laughs> <laughs> Which number five? Said. Which man would make the better husband? <laughs> All right. Which man would make the better husband? I forget which whose turn it is. I think it's me. Uh, I wrote it down. here. Um, Guy started last last time. Okay. There Yay. you go. Awesome. Your time starts now. Jon Snow legit screwed Egret, and I'm never gonna forgive him. He betrayed Daenerys after that. Jon Snow is canceled, as canceled as a spinoff show. I'm definitely not going with the guy that kills every partner he's with. He's definitely the Ted Bundy of Westeros. Um, <laughs> and while Chris Cole was never actually married, he did step up and, and fulfill the role of a father and as a, a, a husband uh, in the sense of a partner, in, in the sense of a partner that really treats you as an equal and listens to you. And to step up and, and be a father to those kids in the situation, knowing that they're all crazy as shit too, and that they're all little time bombs waiting to go off in a ball of fire. And he tried, he tried to make them into decent people and considering everything he was up against, he did a decent job. And I still think it's a miracle that you teach a one, one eyed kid how to sword fight. No depth perception. How does that happen? But, but right, as far time. as being a better husband, the one who doesn't kill you wins. Time. Cody or Bard? Cody. All right, your time starts now. Cody, is oh, you're, 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 on, you're on mute. My bad, my bad. I was here, I was rain, man. Uh, your time no, starts listen. now. So listen, Kristen Cole is only loyal to the women that will put him in an advantageous position, which is exactly what he did with Rhaenyra and Allison. Jon Snow, he at least has that loving side of him. He wants to have kids. You saw that emotional side of him when he was with Igret. We all anticipate that we're going to see it later in the future with Daenerys as well. Jon Snow is actually like a romantic hero. He's actually someone that you would want to, you know, to run away with. That's actually the funnier part. You would want to run away with a real man like Jon Snow. Nobody wants to shrivel away and snivel away with Kristen Cole, dude. He's better at everything, better looking, better warrior. He's the better husband. You want him to protect you and your offspring with this giant dire wolf. 
and uh, not Kristen Cole, who doesn't even have a Valyrian steel sword. What a loser! Because he doesn't need it. All right, who would make the better husband? Well, the definition, uh, the most important thing of in a husband is that they have to be good to look at. You're going to be rolling over and looking at that face every day. The text describes Kristen as comely. What does comely mean? Pleasant to look at, attractive. Um, Jon Snow is not described like that at all. Jon Snow is this described as the, the emo man from your nightmares. J uh, Kristen Cole has pale green eyes, coal black hair, and easy charm. We need charm. We need our Prince Charming. So what, who am I describing when I'm describe describing Kristen Cole? Josh Hartnett and his prime. Young Johnny Depp. John Stamos. Ian Summerholder. Nicholas Holt. Wolverine. Someone's good to look at. He would be a good father figure, like I mentioned, Eamon. Um, and when... Kristen Cole loves intensely. That's what we need as women is an intense devotion. Every time he wore a woman's favor, he would win that tourney. He would fight with the blind fury because it was fueled by love. So imagine all that beauty, passion, and romance packed into one man. That would make the perfect husband. All right. And your time starts now. Jon Snow's father was Rhaegar Targaryen, the man that even Cersei was aiming for. Rhaegar Targaryen, yes, he was a beautiful man. But all I really need to say is Lord's Kiss. Jon performed the Lord's Kiss unasked for. Unasked for! I mean, ladies, you got to at least admit that. Now, um, he, he, yeah, he, he did his best to protect um, Egret and convince her of the threat that she was under. Unfortunately, they were too different. So you got to have a partner to, 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 to be a good husband. It didn't work out there, um, but he um, he performed the Lord's kiss. I mean, and he, he after they did it the first time, how many times did they do it again? <laughs> they, it was hundreds of times. Kristen Cole. She was dry. He wanted Rhaenyra as a wife on, it, but on his own terms, giving her zero agency, ultimately betraying her. So we, we know what kind of a husband he would have been. He, 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 <laughs> Preach. That's, that's all I got. I don't need to say anything more. Yeah, I noticed okay. nobody addressed the killing part. That's great, guys. Do you have a yeah, rebuttal? Yeah, protector. Yeah, I, I do. I, I mean, said. the Go idea ahead. that Cole not only stepped up into a scenario that was a single lady with four kids, hard, hard, hard to do, but he did it in a situation that a king was supposed to fulfill that role. That's incredible. And the best that John could ever muster was like a half-hearted Clyde to whatever unfortunate Bonnie came across him for an unsuccessful run of ill-fated capers. I yield my time. Yeah, I, I'll take some of that time just to say that, yeah, while Jon Snow was like killing people like Egret, killing people like Daenerys, um, Kristen Cole, like I said, is loving them with a passion that drives him to punch, sorry, Joffrey to death. Because, and, but imagine all of that love instead of being fueled to violence, being fueled to date night, being fueled to stamina in the bedroom, all things that, that make a great husband. So just remember, Kristen is a grown man who knows what he's doing, who has experience. Um, he, he just makes the better husband. It's um, interesting. I, I'd like to go first, Cody, and I will give you some time. Sure. Yeah, Here you go. It, it's interesting you mentioned love. Kristen Cole can't love. He 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 was fueled on revenge against Rhaenyra. Jon Snow could love. He loved uh, his sisters. He loved his brothers. He he loved his father. He he was he was an amazing person. Um, he he get, gets people. Val wanted him in the books at, at toward the end there. Um, she she, she he would have if he had chosen to, to to be the Lord of Winterfell. He he would have easily won her. Um, but. It, that's not the, the 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 path he chose. As far as Daenerys goes, you mentioned oh the killing thing. Well, she she stopped it with him at Winterfell. That was all over. Okay, all what he, all he was doing was saving the realm from a tyrant. He was a stand up guy. Sorry, that was that that, that relationship that was that was that, that was that was done. There was there was no wife relationship. He didn't kill a wife. He killed a tyrant, and she had already ended it with him. That that that's got nothing to do with being a good husband. Killed a woman who dumped him. Great. Look, man, we know women love a man in a position of power. Kristen Guard isn't King's Guard. He, he takes his commands from the king. Time. Meanwhile, John, 
ไม่พอเอาคอนเอาไม่ใช่สมาชิกมาชิกได้ you can just just มาชิกมาชิกได้ just you can finish your one sentence that's it John Snow has cooler shit he can be like hey girl you see my wolf oh cool you see my badass dragon oh dope hey yeah you see my all right that's a run on sentence Bazarian let's go John Snow has much cooler shit to rule the women this is so easy Lord's kiss, Lord's kiss. <laughs> Not every girl likes that. Some of y'all give girls yeast infections when y'all do the Lord's kiss. <laughs> yeah, y'all be giving yeast infections on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do like I do like Carl Carsnark's comment. Did you see that one? Crispy kills for you. John just kills you. Yeah. <laughs> the only cure they had for yeast infections was praying to the maiden. It yeah. Terrible. Not good. Chat, you gonna help the judge out? Who would make the better husband? Chat, forget that we mentioned yeast and vote for the donut. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I uh, see what you did there. <laughs> Please update the video. It's the only <laughs> self confidence I get. By the way, Jon Snow might be the heir to the Iron Throne. What's the problem? Right right there, they're gonna, they're gonna always be Keith John. That doesn't count. <laughs> it's like, hey girl, check out this red cube I got you. I wouldn't sit on this throne if you paid me, to be honest. <laughs> no cushion. I think there are, I think there's a lot of good arguments here, but um I think we have to give it to to, to crispy. Oh, oh. 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 lies. I demand a recount. <laughs> yeah, what? did you get for murdering oh, girls? Just this, 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 they're valid point. They all arguably mean the same thing, which is which is putting looks at. Ahead of, uh, but uh, anyway, they're decent points. Someone said the spouse killing is a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I said oh, yeah. a hard boundary about half. killing me, and you broke it. Again, it was over when both of them died. I think it's 2.5 to 2.5. If you're not dating them anymore, it's perfectly fine to murder them. All right, not domestic six. abuse anymore. <laughs> no, Nettle breaks it down, no doubt. Says, says Edward Martin. Which man is better at one to one to one combat? I think it's you guys first. So yeah, your time starts. Huh? Go ahead. Your time starts now. I have to say that I do have a video actually out on this. Um, John is in my top ten fighters in Westeros, so I have a lot to say about this. Um, John, he never was defeated in the books at all. He 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 won every single thing we saw him him every fight he ever he ever took on, on page in the books. Okay, he um he stood up to the number one sword in the realm, man's raider in the books, and and held his own. Um, that's the one the one defeat to the number one, the man who I think is Arthur Dane actually. Um, and he held his own. He, he has a Valyrian steel blade. That's not nothing that Crispin has. He, he fights three at once at the end of the books. Um, he has berserker skills. He completely annihilated Iron Emmet in the books. Um, again, never defeated one on one in the, in, in, in the on page, other than when he, he fought the very top person in the realm. Crispin is a little bitch with no magic sword. End time. Ba ba ba. Barbara, you want to go? Yeah, Your time I. You starts know. Now. We know for a fact, this is an opinion, this is fact, Cole beat Damon Targaryen in one-on-one -on -one combat several times in several tournaments, going back to when he was like 20 years old. He has repeatedly beat Prince Ta Damon Targaryen. And if anybody in the chat wants to try to make the argument that Jon Snow would beat Damon in a fight, I would love, love, love to hear it. I yield my time. Yeah, so listen, I can use the TV version of Jon Snow, who's one of the most badass warriors to ever exist. Everything he did at the wall. Uh, dude, he killed a White Walker. 
when has Kristen Cole ever done that? Oh, that's right. He doesn't have the necessary equipment to even kill a White Walker, except my boy does, though. Uh, like Greenbar said, he's never lost a battle. And he has that Targaryen rage. He has that berserker fuel. Listen, he has a next gear that Kristen Cole simply doesn't. John is more experienced in real pitched war combat by the end of the show. He's fought war in multiple different terrains on multiple different sides. He is the hands down better warrior. And dude, he has a freaking Valyrian steel sword, bro. Let's go. I deal my time. Wow, wow, wow. Which the man elitism. is better? Which man is better at one to one? Getting on my level. I'm just saying. You know, when we're you're talking about Valyrian steel, I just want to let you know that Damon had Valyrian steel, which is Dark Sister, and Chris and Cole was able to beat him a, a few times. But let's go back to the beginning. How did Kristen get his job as a Kingsguard by fighting? John got his job by nepotism. Come on. Um, but uh, Kristen Cole fought for his position in the Kingsguard. He won the melee at Maidenpool, which was the tourney in honor of Viserys' ascension. So, um, no, he probably wasn't re uh, appointed by Rhaenyra like they showed in the show because Rhaenyra was seven years old at this time. He did beat Damon in that melee, though. So, um, Ned's so to, to give you an idea about these melees, Ned's tourney had 40 people in the melees. The melee at Britted Bridge that Brienne won had 116, but on average, melees would have about 200 people. So Kristen Cole wow. one to one about 100 to 200 people to wow. earn his spot as the King's Guard. 100 people. What else do you want? Wait, whose turn is it? I'll go. Yeah. All right. Your time starts now. Last I heard, he, you know, when I saw it on, on in in the show, um, Kristen hit 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 um, Damon in the back when he was walking away. And I, that wasn't winning. But um, that said, uh, John does win. John John was was improving through his entire arc. Yeah, at the beginning he was like a fourteen year old boy. Of course, he wasn't the best sword fighter in the realm. But at the end, in, in a dance with dragons, in in um in the winds of winter. He's the man because he worked at it. He was absolutely better than everyone else around him because he knew he had to be to wield that Valyrian steel blade and, and earn it. And he did earn it. I mean, listen, how poetic. Kristen Cole died by the hands of Starks. Okay. And here's the real difference. When Kristen Cole dies in his story, he stays dead. Does anyone on this panel think Jon Snow is staying dead? Nah, he doesn't if have any half of what John That's Snow time. Had. Jackie says that um, not while Damon was wielding Dark Sister, Crispy only beat him when he had a blunted weapon. That Boom. may be true, but Kristen still beat him and and uh, several times. <laughs> and and Damon still does possess Dark Sister, so it's like I mean, you're still a Valyrian soul. And leader. when he hit him in the back, it was because he was gloating like a jerk, and he deserved it. It a, was cool. Do you have a rebut? Are we doing rebuttals now? I thought that oh, was it. I'm sorry. So the person yes. that hit him in the back like a jerk, he's the one who, who you guys thought had the best emotional intelligence. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Are you That's ready? That's what you do. Otherwise, Your time you don't starts now for the rebuttal. Okay. Um, oh. Or I, I have some. Yeah, go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah. Like I was, like we, I was just saying that, you know, Kristen beat Damon. Damon, who's arguably the best sword in the land. Kristen beat Breakbone's heart. Harwin Strong. So not only is could he beat sophisticated swordsmen like Damon, he could even beat like just the, the brute strength kind of hammer type warriors like Harwin Strong. Meanwhile, Jon Snow is struggling to defeat an old man with 1.5 hands. So like I said, so Kristen, Kristen, like I said, he's defeating up to 200 people at a time in a melee. And Kristen ascended. He didn't just stay a Kingsguard. He became Lord Commander. He didn't just stay Lord Commander. He became the hand. So his ascension means that he's so good at what he's doing when that's one time one combat. Yeah, and to say that he doesn't have a Valerian steel sword is so elitist. I mean, I don't know <laughs> if anybody well, in the chat has a Valerian steel sword. I sure don't. I don't think one that time. makes me a lesser knight. But that still makes him better. 
It does. Um, That's exactly wrong. <laughs> That's time, elitism. Is that the oh, start no, of your no. rebuttal, Bard? Your time no, 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 no. I think we already did a rebuttal. I think we, we did, did a rebuttal. Did. Did. Okay. Yeah, did. I, I just had to say that because, I mean, you're acting like it doesn't matter. It matters. It makes you better. Yeah, it's a cheat. <laughs> it does. It's a cheat. We urge you. It's a hack. It's the no, why does it co have one? They're using no, why does it he... when they use Valerian steel against non Valerian it's steel. Not it's not it's Let the judge it's know. Dishonorable. Dishonorable. It's not the kind of sword you have. It's what you <laughs> do. <laughs> John okay. Baratheon had one of those. Could he fight? Oh, he didn't earn anything. No, he didn't. No, he John, was just John, born rich. John always wins the honor. We're not, we're not advocating for Joffrey Baratheon. Yeah, you did. <laughs> unintentionally. Now you feel bad. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, vote donut. I'm sorry, I can't take it seriously. Rich, what do you want? Rich, this is an argument. It's just contradiction. Just say that my sword is valid. <laughs> Chris, speak. Chris, speak. Chris, speak. Chris, speak. Chris, cheap swords. Cheap mm -hmm. swords. Uh, a working man sword. A lunch pail sword. A grinder sword. Interesting. So I, I do think it kind of depends on our depends on our criteria here. Like if it seems to me like, like we are talking about, like I mean, yeah. If if you're if you're allow, if you're allowing John to have a wolf and a Valerian steel sword, he's going to win. On the other hand, if we're talking about, we're, we're not talking about people going at it barehanded. So, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of depends on your what what your criteria are. Like, who's more impressive at what they do? I think you'd have to say Kristen. Who's who's gonna um, who's gonna win? It's probably John. Um, so it feels like it's it feels like it, it depends on how you judge the statement of which man is better at one to one combat. Um, I think you it have to like treat it with level playing. Kristen. It feels like it's cheating, but but you know, it, like we said, we're not. I don't think we're saying who's better at bare hand combat. I think we are saying that they're going. With what they have, and well, no, 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 no. We're saying parrying <laughs> everything. I mean, Kristen Please. was able to beat Damon turn. and Breakbones. No matter what type of fighting you're doing, dirty or clean, he's he's beating. Yeah. Them. Reasonable argument. It's Maybe it's also it's also a bit of a a bit of a stretch to say that 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 and you, and you did catch this right. So one every fight, I'm like, man's low. <laughs> man's kind of beats him twice, right? Beat man's man's wins the. Mance is kind of toying with him, not even breaking a sweat. He wins, and then he John turns into a brawl, and Mance wins again. Yeah, <laughs> and, you know, I, 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 yeah he, he that was He's the one loss old. he had in, in, in the entire entire whole whole thing, right? And 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 as as Nettles points out, without without Ghost, uh, he he loses to Corn Half Hand. Well, that, right? that that was th those were both in a storm of swords, though. We're talking about John at the end, okay? I mean, we can't we can't judge the man when he's a kid. We can't judge the man when he's a kid. We're talking about the man at the end of the story. The, he's the, the, fighting. The, he's the, the, he's the, a the end of the story. He's a man grown. Even yeah. if he won, who fought better opponents between the two of them? I mean, I mean, if you I look mean, at the chat is definitely the chat seems to be impressive. I think we gotta go to Kristen because, because the chat is, I, I'm surprised the chat is usually very heavily biased towards John and the chat is going all in for, for These almost all need, in for Chris, watch my Chris, video. That's all I gotta say. Chris Chris <laughs> Everyone watch the Green Bards video. Top top yeah. ten sword fighters in Absolutely. Westworld. Definitely. So anyway, I think we give it to we go ahead and give, even though I was I was kind of saying well you know but you guys make a point he you, he's he's fought against Valerian Steel we'll give it to Crispy. Woo! Yeah. What's oh the score now? Gosh. Yeah. Three point five to two point five. Yeah, we'll pull the head. Da, 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 da. Woo! We doing it. Number seven. Which man is the best leader in the field? Um, that's us. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Kristen Cole knew when and how to use his men. A good commander, a good leader in the field is a man that does not waste the lives of his soldiers. Because maybe y'all don't care about the small folk, but Kristen Cole does. So the first example of this is his attack at Rook's Rest. He taunted the Blacks out and got rid of Rainies, a very dangerous opponent because she had the fastest dragon. Losing Rainies would flip Corlys, okay? And as a commander... Kristen Cole knew this, and this did eventually happen. 
He wasn't really losing that many men, and it was worth it because taking out a fierce rider evens the scales for the war. Before Another time was before taking Harrenhal. The books say that the battle was short. When do you ever hear a battle was short? It's because he's such a great commander. He is annihilating three combined armies, Derry, Root, and Wode, before marching on Harrenhal and taking that from Damon, who left it empty and ran away. The only reason he died is not because he wasn't a good leader in the field, it's because Eamon didn't listen to him. Bard or yeah. Cody? Either one. Go ahead, Cody, if you want. Yeah. So Your time John, starts now. Listen, Jon Snow has consistently throughout the story made decisions in the heat of battle that affected him and his men. I already brought up uh, earlier defending Castle Black and how that battle raged for days at a time. Days at a time. You, dude, That it takes a next level leader to keep a man fighting for that long. Jon has done it. Then we go to the Battle of the Bastards where he's able to win over all the great noble, noble houses with the act of his tenacity alone, taking on the Boltons, fighting for his family. When the moment is the biggest, the best version of Jon Snow always shows up. He has more battle experience. He fought in more battles, and he has saved more people as well. He is the definition of a warrior that you want on your side, and let's be real, John should have won the last round. And the way Chris and, and Cole was ever beating, <laughs> how no. dare you? Not we never <laughs> gave the last round, no, Cody. Never, how yeah. 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 so, What do you mean? Do you don't get to slam at the judge? Uh uh, Landers. we all know who would win. Chat knows too. All right, your time <laughs> starts now. The whole time you were talking, Cody, I couldn't stop seeing Jon Snow's dumb, confounded face as King's Landing was sacked and burned in the final episodes of Game of Thrones. Because that's how up to date he was on what he was actually doing this entire time and where it was all leading and cul culminating in a totalitarian fascist dragon uh, archy. <laughs> the idea that Somebody like Jon Snow, who never succeeded at anything, won the Battle of the Bastards? He's He was going to die. His story was over, and Sansa saved him. I don't know why we're even pretending. Like, this Sansa erasure is a bit much for me. To say that Jon Snow won the Battle of the Bastards is just factually incorrect. He got he his butt lost. saved. Yeah. He definitely lost, for real. Yield my time. And he needed Stannis for when he led the battle on Castle Black. He always needs someone to come. What kind of yeah. leader always needs someone to come and save him? He mm. was a little boy. Do you guys? Okay, so now it's Green Bard. Your time starts now. It's, it's in the field is not always a battle. Uh, John, he went to Molestown with a handful of men, almost had a riot of wild wildlings. And just with his voice and a horn, quelled them and made them all understand that that wasn't going to help and stopped the whole thing. He, 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 he pulled men over to his side, even in, in, that, um, in that instance. He um, presided over the wildling migration past the wall. Both And, and, and no, there, was, there was no fighting during that. One man died because he was an idiot. It's, it's, John was... was an amazing leader uh, when it comes to, to leading men in battle and in peace. He defend, like Cody said, he defended the wall for like days and days and days with like thirty men on a bum knee. Yeah, now th this this is this is a, a true leader. Now Nettles mentions the plant, Rook's Rest again, where where he unnecessarily put his king at risk and got him maimed. Totally, time. and then he was totally unequipped for the the guerrilla warfare for later on in in the, in the dance. Sorry, no, he's a, bit, a little bitch. Damn. <laughs> I have a quick little rebuttal. I just want to say that once that number one, that like I said, uh, Kristen only died because Eamon didn't listen to him. Eamon would have listened to him, but it was Alice Rivers who enslaved him and told him to stay at Heron Hall. So listen, we can't fight against yeah. with, with pussy demons. And back to <laughs> Jon Snow, please remember that every time Jon Snow has a chance to lead, he either lets his honor get in the way and get his man killed 
or he lets his personal emotions get in the way. So it's either going to be honor and him not using his thinking skills because he doesn't know anything, or he's, he's a narcissist. Make him rush to go get Rick on. Go ahead. Yeah, he's a he's a straight up narcissist. He doesn't care about anybody but himself and his own pain and his own PTSD problems. Everybody's got PTSD in Westeros. Everybody's dealing with crap, John. You got to get over your own crap and do what's right for the bigger picture. And he never does. Somebody else always has to come and save him and tell him what to do and how to do it. He's not a leader. He's not a Zora High. And that wall that he supposedly protects, does anybody in the chat think it's going to be standing by the end of the story? I don't. I see. End time. Don't. Who has a rebuttal? I do. All right. And start. Jon Snow is not a narcissist. That is insane to argue. Jon Snow, he <laughs> saves Sam. He, he, he does all these things for, for everyone around him. A narcissist? A narcissist? No. Jon Snow is not a narcissist. Do you have something, Cody? Go ahead, Cody. Some time. Uh, I mean, just the fact that he got all of his men killed in that battle at the Butcher's Ball. Um, and hundreds of Kristen's men were killed by the Rivermen and the Winter Wolves. So, I mean, it, again, not only did he have his head brought to someone on a spike, but he got his men killed multiple times. Jon Snow is not only more responsible for his own life, but he's more responsible for the men around him. He's a real leader. That's who you want leading you into battle. Jon Snow, not Lord Crispy or whatever his name is. Crispy Kreme? What? Crispy? Yeah, Lord Crispy Kreme. Everybody yeah, loves people love donuts. Cream. You're just yeah, making donut. it easier. <laughs> We're making it easier. Yeah, yeah, right. Donuts are actually sweet. Yeah, those donuts. Yeah, are you, cool. you can't even talk shit about donuts. Chat, let the judge know what you think. Phil's kind of right. It kind of depends on whether we're talking about John or Show John. Well, I, I I know what I was talking about. I was talking about Book John, and he was a badass. It's very true, Carl. I can see it. I think there's different levels of badassery between Show John and Book John. I think sure. Book John is far more calculated. Whereas John is just like this god of war going in there, swinging steel around, cutting people's heads off and shit. Like Snow John, the show John Snow. I'm sorry, and no one fucking with him. Mm -hmm. No one. Mm -mm. What's it gonna be? Crispy, crispy cream. I feel like I feel like Carl Karsnak like saying, saying, um, oh, wait, was it was it him? Wait, who was the who was the one that said if you don't like yeah I mean, Carl Carson if you don't like donuts we're gonna fight in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Carl is here to avenge me. John couldn't lead his way into a spinoff series. <laughs> no. oh, hey, that's a low blow. That's low. Yeah, that's low. Is just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it, my 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 own personal bias is towards the the book, but you you guys make great points talking about show John. You can't use personal <laughs> bias. But uh, I think the world are that we are allowed to argue both sides, right? You are allowed to yeah. argue both show and book. Yeah. yeah. Whatever fits your point you're making. Whatever's expedient. Yep. I, I just don't want you to like let them get away with making the argument about Rook's rest again, Richard. Okay. <laughs> it was Eamon's idea. It wasn't anything and... that Cole decided. Oh, come back. Where was this? Aegon got maimed and burned. Like, like, Aegon was fine. His dragon flew again. What do you mean? He, he was yeah. gone for the rest of the, the, the story. Six months because he wanted a break. Fell. He had herpes. <laughs> Boom. Herpes. <laughs> Boom. Nelson oh, Marina says, says uh, donut, but it's close. <laughs> donut, wolf, donut, wolf. What? Not a whole lot of people weighing in there. Well, dude, Cole, ends his, Cole ends his story with his head on a spike. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I kind of think the John argument's better. Yeah, because he was how an honorable is, how man. How is John a better leader in the field? How? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sorry, magic because didn't bring we think, you know, back to life. How is that book, his fault? Leading bring actual battle. Back to life. And in the books, he's actually smart and, and, and a good leader in the battles. But who right? made that point? No one. And it was dumb luck. They both made that point. Yeah, they both literally made that point. 
Stop. Kristen. This is our point. This this is our point. Yeah, John, how do you not get one to one leader. and leader in the field? No, the first thing, that's not the first well, argument I mean, that they made was John consistently makes decisions in battle defending Castle Black. And I, I wrote it down when he made it. He, just, he made it right off the bat. And Kristen made more decisions during battle that were yeah, like, like sending his king into battle. He didn't need anyone to, to <laughs> Every, everywhere John Snow goes crumbles into dust. Look at Hardhome. Look at the the the, the uh Fortress, I forget the name of it that the Knights Watch have. You know, look at Winterfell, look at King's Landing, look at everywhere Jon Snow goes in flames and crumbling. And tell me, Kristen he's doing is a good going job. against dragons, yeah. Jon Snow is going against wildlings with our, without Snow. any armor. The wildlings are going, going against the Red Wall. Jon Snow gets to the other. I, 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 I think what you guys are saying is wrong. I think what you guys are saying is wrong. I think what you guys are saying is wrong. Kristen Cole has to work with what he has. No. I budget. love the passion here, don't you, Richard? Yeah, the oh, argument is essentially John <laughs> has a way better sword. Their, their <laughs> argument is we see John do well, and what you guys think of Kristen doing well isn't all that good. That's their argument. And it's, it's a pretty decent argument. So I, I, I buy it. I, I'm giving the point to I'm giving this the point to John. Commander, he screams <laughs> at a dragon. He's he scream at a dragon like a prairie dog. He's brilliant. That's that's Commander John screaming at a ja dragon. Anyway, I, I agree with you that if you consider the show and it's not it's, it's <laughs> when we when we look at the show, John, what you're allowed to do, you make good points that he's definitely not that great. Like the Battle of the Bastards, come on. Saves <laughs> John in the books. Okay, let's move on. It's now tied. Ever eight. Which man is better in the bedroom? Boom. Oh. Is it who? Uh, I oh, think it's on, you man. guys. I think I go first this time. Okay. But Cody, yeah, Cody, if you want to, you can. Either way. Your time <sighs> starts now. Well, I mean, John did it multiple times his first night, and in the morning, and hundreds of times afterwards. What? And then, and then, then in the cave, he, you know, which is the closest thing he ever got to to a bedroom. He performed the Lord's Kiss and again did it quite well. She wanted a, a, a repeat. So, I mean, I don't know how you can say he's not good. And, and so, I, I'm really interested to see what their argument's going to be. Um, that said, uh, as far as we know, uh, Crispin did it once and then uh, and then never did it again. So, I can't see how he possibly could be good. So, this, this one's going to be interesting. I, I yield my time. I'm ready to go. Though many lords and knights sought her favor, the princess had eyes only for Kristen Cole. So Kristen is has these crazy fire pheromones, um, and they must have been on fire because Rhaenyra's dragon blood sniffed it out. Rhaenyra was a freak, a slut, and a hoe. And all the men she fucked, the hundreds of men that she fucked in King's, King's Landing, the one that she couldn't stop thinking about was Kristen Cole. What was so special about him? Why did his cum taste so good? Where am I going with this? Juices? Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is Kristen Cole was not only handsome, he wasn't only ch charming, but he had that magical X factor that would draw women to him. He okay. fucked Rhaenyra, he fucked Alicent, and he fucked Alice Rivers. Read it in the book. Eamon, Eamon and Kristen had a falling out over Alice Rivers. So he's he is fucking the most elite of women and keeping them satisfied, driving them crazy. While Jon Snow is still in his wildling phase, he hasn't touched an heiress or royalty yet, baby, because he has no skills. Kristen Cole got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like the A-Rod of Westeros. Look, and your time everything. starts now. Look, man, you've never had good sex until you've had some cave sex. I know Carl Karsnark... He knows what I'm talking about. I asked you in the chat, bro. Uh, look, man, Jon Snow kept Igret coming back for more, if you pick up what I'm putting down, okay? Jon Snow had Daenerys rolling with the motion of the ocean. Listen, he is the blue winter rose. He is the definition of a woman's wet dream. Jon Snow, baby, the best lover the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. I yield my time. I like that you put the sultry tone on it, Cody. I just have to say. <laughs> it's not going to help you. Your time starts 
Oh, I mean, it's great that you're all getting off to the idea of Jon Snow having sex, but Jon Snow didn't really seem to be that into sex himself. He often treated it like this sin women were doing to him rather than something he enjoyed. He refused to bang the Red Priestess, which I don't think anybody who's sane could do. Uh, uh, you know, I, Cole banged a princess. You know, say what you want. He would have done Melissa under two. And you take your fun where you can. So obviously one enjoys sex more than the other. Who would you rather sleep with? The person who enjoys it and is enthusiastic about it or the whiny pouty guy who's going to guilt you about it and blame you after like some freak? Pass. 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 Green Bard, your time starts now. I don't remember him ever blaming Ygritte for anything. He enjoyed that time. That, that, no, no, that, that argument is, is is completely made up. Um, yes, in, in his in inner monologue is of the POV structure, sure, we, we get that he was somewhat coerced into it. But once he started, he was the man in Under the Sheets, or Under the Furs, as, as it were. And then, I mean, Daenerys, she so wanted him. And of course, if we go over to the books, Val so wanted him. Of course, yeah, he, he was he was he was under his vows, and you know, but no, it, it was John was so hot to them. Why do you think Egret never wanted to leave that cave? I mean, come on now, because it was yeah. like apocalypse yeah, outside, uh, and it was really saying. cold. They could have stayed there forever. It was they should have it was never cold. left. It was, it was cold. Him. There were zombies out there. Never left that cave. Out there. there right. was a lot of bad things happening out there, Cody. It was a bad time. It was a great time in that case. John, I, have that rebuttal. I just want to once again just say that Cole has fucked Rhaenyra, Allison, and Alice Rivers, which means that he can cater to different types of women. Slutty girls, prudes, religious girls, and the witch girls. He can satisfy them all. We've only seen Jon Snow with Egret, and it's just beginner's luck. Daenerys, he had her dusty so dusty she could not get wet so it it, it belongs to, to christian who has the juices flowing okay a study found that women who are ovulating are more interested in men with masculine bodies symmetrical facial facial features and dominant behavior that is Kristen cole not john snow writer finish him off yeah i just want to say that Cole understands the feminine perspective better, uh, having dealt with the power imbalance. I mean, I know there are people in the chat joking that, you know, Rene is was <clears throat> younger, so he had the power in the situation. But I think we all know that the man who was uh, possibly going to die for what he was doing um, didn't have the power in that situation. And it was the betrayal he went through with Rene that bonded him, that trauma bond he had with Allison, that they had both been sort of sexually abused in a, in a way that that wasn't you know fair to either of them and and they understood the concepts of consent if consent is not enthusiastic it is not really consent i yield my time can i just may i rebut here and go john snow's dick game is so strong Daenerys targaryen burned down king's landing when she couldn't have it anymore I rest my case. She just lost it. <laughs> she burned it all down with her horny cushion. That's a mic drop. That, that wasn't actually a rebuttal. We, we we didn't get another rebuttal, but it was a great joke. I like this that. This is your rebuttal. <laughs> I'm going. This is your rebuttal, yeah. No, we, we, we went first. We were done. Yeah, he's already gone twice. He's right. <laughs> that, was a, a, that was an unnecessary oh, rebuttal, but I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I loved it too. Fine. <laughs> Chat, let the judge know who do you think is better in the bed bedroom. I need to see those donuts. Unless you guys are pedos going after 14-year-old John. Wow. I need to see oh, those donuts. donuts. You just lost this round the donuts. by calling the chat a bunch of pedos. What Put the wolves up, baby. Got thrown my sword down. All right, so hard over here. What am I supposed to do? Just a better leader. Wow, well, well, well. just better. Everyone should strive to be like Jon Snow. Nobody's <laughs> voting now. They don't want to be called a name. You There's only one way to vote, and it's a donut. It's actually just a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Wolves up and nuts down. No. I, I thought I thought with, when you guys started off with uh, Guy, I thought he's going to run away with it. I, I was kind of with him when he when he goes, I, I can't wait to hear what they say. And then Nettles just nailed it with the 
I, I, I gotta say she, she she was she was good, but I, I still think my arguments are better in the end. And now people are saying that Cody won the debate. Cody's got the sexiest timber to his voice. It's not fair. Yeah, Cody, you you were amazing. I gotta say, we, if we you win, can't it's probably seduce the me. chat, Cody. Yeah, no seduce. <laughs> the chat, Cody. Damn it, it's not my fault if it just happens anyway. And that old like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the John Snow hair. God damn it! <laughs> Put a hat on. The chat is going for, for for John, and and honestly, it, it felt like you almost convinced one of your opponents at the end there. So I think we have to go, with John. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Karsnark says Crispy Juices is my new van name. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. so, so I, I think we were, were we tied? I think we were tied. So now it's 4.5 4. Yeah, to 3.5 right. for John. <laughs> Who has yeah, the better the team around old. them? Y'all said the 14 year old who gives yeast infections. Okay. <laughs> Who has the better team around them? That's a pretty skilled 14 year old if I do say yeah, so. Yeast infections. You, you just got to not eat any carbs and, and yeast can't do anything to you. You're good. I know John personally and he he has yeast in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see who goes first this time. This is, you, I think you went first last oh, time, I, right? I, I went first last time, yeah. So yeah, it should be. Um, All right, Kramer, you can go. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, I would say that, you know. Wait, Rich has to say the question first. <laughs> Who has the better team around them? Number nine, question nine. Time All right, starts so now. The idea that, you know, Jon Snow has the better team around him. Again, I just want to point out he has the better alliance to deal with an existential threat that affects everybody. It's an extraordinary situation. It's got nothing to do with him in any personal way. When it comes to people that he surrounds himself with, there's a lot of incompetence. There's a lot of bad uh, choices as far as let's go up to the wall. Let's go back down to King's Landing. Let's try to convince Cersei Lannister, who's crazy, to do something. A lot of wasted time, a lot of wasted energy, a lot of wasted manpower. That didn't really amount to anything. As far as um, Kristen, I mean, he's got the entire army of Westeros under his control. That's a pretty good team. And he's also got all the princes and princes that he raised into warriors as his team around him. So uh, I don't know. What do you do you want to say that John has Sam? That that John has ghost? What does John actually In have? Time. Stannis Baratheon? These tenuous alliances aren't real. All right, and your time. Cody, do you want to go first? Or I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I can go first. And your time starts now. At literally any point that you pick Jon Snow throughout his entire story, throughout all five books, he has better people around him. Dude, Pip and Grim, come on, dude. Dude, Pip, dude, two of the best characters. Um, in the very end of the show, dude, he's going up with the Hound with the Gendry Baratheon. Dude, Samuel Tarly is his best friend. No one had better people around them throughout the entirety of the show than Jon Snow. And then the way that he's able to bring Mance Raider in the fold and Melisandre. Again, this goes back to my point that Jon has the intellectual and emotional intelligence to be able to communicate with so many different types of people that he has all the best people around him. And he brings out the best in those people and makes them feel like they are better than they were before. Kristen's never done that. Jon Snow does it throughout five different books. And time. That was a dumb thing to say. All right. <laughs> Which has the better team around them? Kristen Cole, Eric Cargill, Rickard Thorne, Stefan Darklin, Willis Fell, Eric Cargill, Laurent Marbrand. I've just named the Kingsguard. Mm -hmm. So Kristen Cole's team is the most elite fighters in all of Westeros, men who fight for their position on that team. While John's teams are rapists and thieves, make it make sense. Make Who's it make Kristen sense. Cole's team, it's Allison. What does Allison bring to the team? High Tower, House High Tower, Old Town, the High Council, her dragon riding children. Any, anyone who doesn't think Rhaenyra should be queen is on Kristen Cole's team. So, wow, what a nice, powerful team. Cole doesn't even need his whole team to go against John. If Cole just brings Helena and her dragon against John and everyone he's ever met, 
Kristen Cole's team would beat John. They would wipe him out in 10 minutes. Him Ellen. and all the wildlings and the giants. Like I said, Kristen Cole's team is so good. He doesn't even need all of them to defeat John's team to go toe to toe. And don't forget, John's team killed him immediately. So it doesn't matter who you name for John's team. None of them prevented his death. And you're going to talk about, you know, bringing in Stannis Baratheon or, or Melisandre or Mance Raider. These people were using John, not the other way around. All right, he didn't Green bring Bard. them in. They used him. All right, Green Bard, your time starts now. John, who has the best team? I'm sorry. There, there was just too much there that was just so wrong about what you said. I can't even start because Ryder Karma broke my thought. But it, well, let's, let's just talk about that, that team that Crispin had. That team he had, Reach Army, Westerland Army. Guess who loses at the end of A Song of Ice and Fire? Reach Army, Westerland Army, because that's going to fall apart because he didn't actually have a team. He just had a bunch of people who hated Rhaenyra. Hate is not something that unites. It's something that divides, okay? He had he didn't have a team. Um, and so they're going to lose just like Cersei is going to lose. Um, John has the Wildling Army, the Watch, and especially the Rangers, the fighters in the Watch, right? Not those bitches that he never had that, that that stabbed him in the back. Okay, he has the Umbers, the Mountain Clans, other Northmen, um, the the, the Manderleys, and he yes, he does have Mel Melisandre in his corner, and he does have Stannis in his army in his corner, and he's he. And then Ryder was making her own point for us that he's better. So I, I don't I don't even go know what where she was going with that one. So yeah, um, that's how she started her first twenty seconds was was making our point that John was better. So yeah. Okay, and uh, <laughs> Kayla Weakland says, "Dang, you're right. Allison has the feet. Don't forget, don't forget the feet." I'm just saying that. Right, if you're gonna say now. If you're gonna say John brought in Daenerys, that John brought in Melisandre, if John brought in Mance Raider, he's an idiot who doesn't know what he's doing because all of these people were just using him. They were using him for their own plans and their own machinations. And the only reason they all turned and started fighting in the same direction was because of an existential threat beyond the norm. It had nothing to do with his skill. It had nothing to do with his talent or intelligence. I yield my time. Yeah, that's pretty much saying that um, it's it's no choice at all. If your choice is between Jon Snow and the others, come on. Right. That's, you're not really choosing Jon Snow. You're just not choosing the others even Cersei was going to come on side he thought you know yes so sorry um Kristen Cole has actual dragons on his team so like that just by Suck default, it. default better so team. does Jon Snow we we know okay. the end of oh, yeah, Jon Snow was a Targaryen with no dragons right. we know what we think Time about them starts now we know the end of Chris Crispin Cole's story for sure in 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 both media right he dies uh, yeah, he died because he loses started. his last like eight battles, um, and 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 then try, try, try with no, with no bargaining position tries tries to to get single combat, and no no nobody's going to do that for him. And and then John, yeah, he he got Daenerys on his side absolutely because he made good arguments and he and he sold the case. And they, having Daenerys on your side was a good thing. So yeah, he had a good cast around him. Whether or not, um, why they were, that's not part of the question. The part was who has the better team and the better team has dragons. More better. Okay. Dragons. So we Price win. Control, hey, wait, can everybody, or can I add on to that? Yeah. yeah. There's time still going. Yeah. I mean, no one that's around Kristen Cole is around him because of him. They're around him because one, they're loyal to Aegon Targaryen and the big ass motherfucking dragons that make sure they stay in line. No one is around Kristen Cole because of him. People gravitate towards Jon Snow because of the man he is and because of the warrior that he has proven himself to be time and time again. And why I was Allison around him, team. Cody? Why was Allison around him? Why was she? Dang. I mean, he's the king's guard. Why was he trying to was she, why was she he was around him? Rhaenyra. Why was she picking some nobody? All right, chat. Because Let the judge know. Him. She had She's information on him. She could team. use him. <laughs> Because he was a man of taste in more ways than one. Check out my earrings. They're just some legs. They're sweet. <laughs> Did you have those on the whole time? Yeah. They're That's amazing. horrifying. They're just some legs. I'm going to chop them off. Come closer. They're, they're already chopped off. Over here. 
No, oh, I did good job. Stop it. Kristen Cole's team did not kill him. It doesn't matter who you <laughs> name on Jon Snow's <laughs> team. They did not save his life. I thought it was kind of funny the way you guys were, were, were like, almost he making he each other's arguments, like, though. He kept Sam going in circles. Life. Not even Ghost was able to save him. Stop it. I, I thought it was pretty funny when you, 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 I mean, you started off <laughs> you started off arguing that uh, John has the better alliance. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where's this going? And then, and then at the end, Guy was like, "Well, the better team has dragons." I'm like, "I'm not sure you want to make that argument because the other team has a big yeah, dragon." In John's con, what I meant is in John's con, there were no dragons on the other side, right? But it, it, obviously, both both sides had had dragons in Christmas case, so that they, they, they get negated out, right? None of Agar can no, eat no, all the dragons. That was totally argument. I, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn too. It, 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 you, st you start off like, well, of course, John has the better alliance. I'm like, well, that's kind of. I mean, because I, I get your argument, which was was you know that's that's not anything in his favor. The question isn't is not who is able to form a better team. The question is who has the better team around them. And so it really is kind of conceding the point when yeah, you start off with that. Point, right? But but again, the argument of well. You know, big dragons. That's that's a pretty good argument too. <laughs> nobody, no, nobody said Vagar. I never heard Vagar come out at all, though, Richard. We gotta go on the, on the arguments that were made. Uh, I I'm reading my notes right now, and I put Allison brings to the team High Tower, High Council, and her dragon riding children. Right. Um, well, that includes the dragon. Clearly yeah, implies yeah, the dragon. Absolutely. But how does that have anything to do with Cole? Like because he's got it's 10 dragons. And you know it's his team. Again, them the, around. You're, you're forgetting the, the question isn't who's able to assemble a good team. The question is who has the better team around them? That's and his you're team. Supposed, you're supposed to argue that the point. entire so, army of Westeros. He has Aemon and Vagar. All Darian, the Navy, all the, the soldiers. Hounds, he has Henry them on his Baratheon, There's so him. many. That's his team. He has them on speed dial. That's his team. How how po how powerful was Tywin Lannister ever? The most powerful hand of the king ever, right? How powerful was Tywin Lannister? He was never as people, powerful as Kristen Cole on and Dragon. John had Bran. John had Bran. Okay, and Bran didn't save him. No, Bran, Bran was broken. A lot of help from the chat here, guys. Like we all feel bad Brandon, for Bran, like but let's not pretend he's born. actually an asset. I just feel like we're giving Kristen Cole too much credit for dragons that the dude doesn't ride. But he's all really good. Right when he says, "You aim and you go there, Aegon, you show up there." This time, this like, uh, that's a hey. team. Thank you. That's a team. Hey guys, could you burn that idiot who's screaming at dragons like a prairie dog? Thank you. Battle one. Who killed him? That was funny. Okay, I'm not going to. We're being inappropriate. You know, I I play nettles. I, I just don't know how we can lose when, when when our opponents were making our argument for us, Richard. I'm sorry. You know, I that's, that's your, team you. <laughs> your team killed you, okay? John Snow's team. Was, uh, you John really Snowed yourself. His, his, his literal employees. His literal <laughs> employees killed him. Jeez, come on now. <laughs> Employee of the month. Cole's team abandoned him. Is the, is the argument. They did not abandon him. They were, they hey, by the way, how have we not mentioned freaking wound wound? John has a giant on his side. <laughs> you John. Like, you're you're giant. Giant. Oh, John. <laughs> I look at the spirit of the page. Woon woon. That's a woon. Right. I got to make a decision here. I'm sure all the places left in crumbling ruins that John has been to really appreciates his team. Yeah. Dude, I'm just saying dragons, giants, badass warriors. And John they, has it all. Like, John, literally, that. John checks. Every single box. Honestly, and going I, by the books, every box John checks is like leading up to be a sacrificial lamb at the end of the story, not yeah. the hero. So okay, yeah. one of them was stabbed a couple of times, and the other one was and beheaded died. and has his head oh put God. on a pike. And that's it cool. Says that yeah. All of Kristen Cole's men died sure, with him. Never die. Never you need. Like, you cannot give this to John. You cannot give it to John. Look, listen. How good was Crystal wow. Cole's hair yeah. that they wouldn't even harm it when they were murdering him to death? <laughs> they left his hair untouched. You, if you say John had the better team and his team 
literally stabbed him until he died. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We'll give this one to Christian. Yeah, yeah. Christian because That's you, did, you did bring up the dragon riders. You did bring up the dragon riders. You did make the point. It's the, those those dragons are definitely. Uh... All right, we'll go. We'll go ahead and give Crispy the point. Yeah. <laughs> Why, man? <laughs> oh, get ready to lose. You already know what this is. This is your losing time. Oh, uh, really? Uh, it's all it's only tied right now. So it's, it's all up in last you know know what it is. Donuts in, baby. Number 10. Which man is the alpha in the room if they are in the same room? Who who is who is it? Cody first? Can I go first? Okay. Your time starts now. The dude with the wolf. A dragon and a Valerian steel sword, dude. I'm sorry. The dude that's named King in the North, the one that is Azor Ahai, the one that is literally the Song of Ice and Fire, the bringing together of Targaryens and Starks. What are we doing here? Crispin Cole cowers to the shadow of Jon Snow. They're not anywhere near comparable. He, he wanted to run away from his duties. Dude, Jon Snow is everything that Kristen Cole wishes that he could be. And it's not even close, dude. The guy with the sword, with the wolf, and with the dragon. It's not even close, baby. I yield my time. All right. I got I got this one, Ryder. <laughs> when Kristen Cole walks into the room, Jon Snow sits down. Let me say that again. Oh. When Kristen Cole walks into the room, Jon Snow sits down. He actually sits down to pee. He's finished. He's rubbish. <laughs> Kristen Cole killed Beesbury because he knew he would not get in trouble because he is that dude. Who's going to step to Kristen and tell him anything? No one did. The same way no one said anything when he felt like killing Joffrey because he was angry. Why? He's the alpha in the room. That means everyone else, their heads bow down like they would to the alpha wolf. Whatever they say goes. Just like a, a, somebody from Greyjoy land, he's the master of the ship. Kristen Cole's the master of whatever room he's in because as, a, as a, long as a man could look him in the eye like Damon and kowtow to him, Kristen Cole is the alpha in the room, okay? Kristen Cole told Eamon to go and kill Luke. Why? Because he's the alpha in the room. Why was it Cole that put that crown on Aegon's head? Why wasn't it the Septon, the Hand of the King, his mother? You know who it was? The alpha in the room, Kristen Cole. Amen. Green Bard, your time starts now. John has a presence. He has a power. He walks in the room into his, his own election, stops everyone mid-sentence. They all just stare at him. Because he's because he, he walks in. He, he 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 he's trailed by an alpha in ghost. Everywhere he goes, he has a presence. But on, on the other hand, Kristen Cole, he's got a white cloak. Yeah, he's, I'll give him that. He's got a white cloak. But he's also the type of bro who would take pics with like 16 other dudes, flex posted on Twitter, get ratioed because they're all alphas, but you can't have all alphas in the room. <laughs> he's, he's, just a, a, he's just a bro, a little bitch. He was killed by actual alphas. When the Stark army came south with with the the Riverlands army, um, no, he he he's he's a, he's a little bitch. He's not an alpha. Is there some time left? Go ahead. Yeah, speak. Uh, Crispin, no. you can dude, say Crispin one Cole, sentence. <laughs> Crispin Cole can't even eat hot wings without needing a Tide pin because he's dressed in nothing but white. How lame, dude. <laughs> Ryder, that your time starts now. Yeah, I mean, it's just one guy's nickname is the Kingmaker. I don't know how much more alpha you can get than that. You make the man the man. What do they call Jon Snow? A bastard. <laughs> nothing. He knows nothing. He's nothing to no one. And he's probably going to die oh, in obscurity brother. despite us all knowing him. And the fact is that he's got the alpha grind set. Cole went from the son of a butler to the hand of the king, the most powerful man in the kingdom. Why? Because of the grind set. Thank you. I just want to say big Cole, not the little one. Whose turn is it now, Bard? Did you go? Um, yeah. So Cole's the alpha. Cole's Wait, the is alpha this a rebuttal? Go ahead. Yeah, it's our rebuttal, yeah. 
Okay, go. Cole's the alpha because he was the kingmaker. Let's think about that logic. Who's the alpha? The king or the hand of the king? Right. The one who the made king the king. The one who chose. Or his king. guard. Who's the, the alpha? Who's the, the one who put the crown on his head. Go ahead, yeah. Cody. Chuck, yeah, leave, 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 I leave. mean, listen, one of them is a servant, a perpetual servant to the king. And the other one will be a the servant. king. By the way, pick the North or the Iron Throne. He's a king no matter what. There is levels to this shit. And Jon Snow is clearly a level king of king in the North. Court. I'm trying to remember king him wearing a crown. When Kristen calls in the, the north. room, Jon Snow sits down. King in the North. No, king in the North. Bows before the King in the North. I'm sorry. Remember what happened no. to the last King in the North? Bolton Anybody? did something. Bolton didn't bow down to no King in the North. What do you mean? I know the queen yeah, in the got north. Got in for his trouble. Rob, and by the way, you're talking about and, and, and Karma said the, the title of, is a, of Kingmaker. John Chat. is Azora High. The prince yeah, is not Azora, Azora, Azora High. It is the alpha title. John didn't even want it. He's not Azora High. John didn't yeah. even want it. John didn't want it because he knew he knows that's not him. He's not that's what makes him it's deserving. That's what makes him a real alpha. No, that's why he went. Cole would love to be the king. The John Snow's He's like a wanderer. He, John is a sigma. He is a wanderer. He is not an John alpha. John is a sigma. He's going to end up being the nice king. Want, he He's is not an John was a leader. The majority of the whole story. And narcissist. He was in a position of power most of the story. I'm telling you, he's evil. Chat, help Rich out. <laughs> But Rich, you know what the answer is. You know what it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he knows what the answer is. It's John Snow. <laughs> and it's not that little 14-year-old boy peeing his pants every day. <laughs> I can't recall Christine. He Cole. pees his pants every day. Certainly not the dude with his head on a spike, right? Not that guy, right? Again. The guy who's really never like, coming back, right? And very cool. And you can only hope to die so well. Abbed up guy on the floor. <sighs> You you call John Emu, but 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 Kristen Cole's the one who got rejected once, and all of a sudden he's just a little bit grinding the entire rest of his his life, yeah. right? He moved on to Scared. Allison. He became he Allison's on. sworn. He was wearing Allison's favor. You know what that is? He was in those guts. Yeah. If he's wearing your favor, he's in your guts. <laughs> he was using him. The only reason he was even with her was because yeah, she knew his secret. The point isn't who's no. using who. The point is the being pawn. Kyle Rhaenyra. How he can you be an alpha? Yeah. How can you be an alpha if you're the pawn being moved around by everyone else? They were trauma, but not everybody gets to be born into a bloodline that acts that's treated like it matters. The rest Rich, of us have to mean? grind set. Like uh, real I don't put it in the chat. Is a is snow. Snow. I'm sending Cole down to the corner store. Be quiet, Phil. <laughs> Phil. John is a snow. He's done Phil? nothing but work his way up and not having a name connected. Yellow oh, snow. Is, is Kingmaker or King? Kingmaker or King? Look, I mean, I'm, Gerdev, I'm, 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 I told you, yeah. Gerdev has um, a Nobel King versus King. Gerdev has an IQ of 250. <laughs> 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 he is a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Who? Lamb. Except for when he's fighting Starks, right? Then he oh, yeah. gotta then say he this goes, whole narrative the Starks point? fun about being an honorable people and family when what they did to Kristen Cole was so cowardly and dishonorable. It's just a whole bunch of propaganda in favor for the Starks. I'm realizing now after this debate. I mean, hey, don't lose who built head. the wall? The Starks. So who helped make the others? The Starks. Yeah, we're doing cool shit. Well, I mean, I'm pretty torn on this. There's some good arguments in both directions here. So, I mean, Cody started off on fire there. The Nettles came in and was made some, made some, made some pretty good points. Now, some of them are, are just assertions that are like, eh, I'm not so sure. But They're but believable. So, <laughs> I do like quite a few of these arguments in both directions. And then and then people in the, the chat are like, yo, there's some good arguments that the, the chat is on fire, by the way. They are they are really taking this yeah. one seriously. There's a lot of smart uh, people in that chat actually. Making their own making their own arguments that are different than the ones you guys have made that are that are pretty good. 
fantasy draft. <laughs> he's a lap dog. He does what he's told all the time. He's like a he's like a, a cocker spaniel, dude. He's like a golden retriever. John Here, boy. Snow, sit down. Sit. Here, boy. Everybody uh, loves dogs. Cool. Oh, I don't know what you would say the word bastard, and John Snow has peed his pants. Just call yeah. him bastard. That's it. He peed his pants. I'm, I'm pretty who here, who here loves Catelyn Stark? And who did Catelyn Stark hate? John Snow. That, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. Chris she is was fake. a woman of taste. He's, he's one. He's one of those fake alphas online. That, that's what he yes. is. The fake yeah, King Maker, King's Guard, I, Hand of the King, Lord Commander. Yeah, he totally faked his way to all those alpha positions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all just like a podcast. Yeah, the podcast. Chris he if has Chris, a I can, podcast. I can, I can see the arguments against them both being very strong too. It's interesting too. If people say, "Well, you know, he, he's a servant versus the king in the north," and, and you know, that, that's a, there's some interesting arguments there. But and then other people are like, "Well, look at the way one of the people." Some people are like, "Well, look at the way they interacted with people," and and um, you know the argument that that Kristen was rising up himself, whereas John is like reluctantly going up himself. There's a, there's a certain amount of it's more of an alpha behavior from from that. I would I would agree, but but some of these arguments for John are also just like I said. There's there's arguments that are great in both directions, both for and against both of these guys. I'm I'm I'm, I'm tempted to call it a tie, but oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Only I'm one of these all. men is a king. I'm saying only I'm one saying of them. There's he's not a king, he's a bastard boy. Yes, he is. He is a king. <laughs> he is a king. He's a club of vice. John Snow and Kristen Cole are in a room. But isn't the bully on the playground? Isn't the bully on the uh, that's your point? Okay, so Nelson is actually arguing for Kristen. If John Snow and Kristen Cole are in a room, stop it. John Snow is crying, right. Mother, one of them is an I actual king. One of them has killed a white walker. One of them is fighting the law and night. John, John, I, John, I, like, John, I like well, I like so both arguments for and against both of these both of these guys on this one. I, I think we just just call it a tie. Oh my yeah. god, John, John Snow cries like himself a river because the top one percent of the one percent are treated better than him when he's treated like a lord compared to everyone else in Westeros. He's like, so baby? spoiled. Really? He's literally like. 38 last year i got 39 like a mama's wow. boy with no mama how sad and john bent the knee to danny you think Kristen cole would have bent the knee to a damn dragon no anyways can we move on next question and no we stop giving them points yeah no more <laughs> which man is a better best friend drinking buddy i think this time it's us possum um, I think Cole would drink John under the table. I think John would have two glasses of wine and become a sobbing mess because that's what he's like sober. I yield my time. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, that's all I had. Dude, no. listen, the bet the best friends in the entire show. When you're looking for friendship in a song of ice and fire, it's John Snow and Samuel Tarley, man. Like. It's it, they are the the epitome of best friends, dude. Even Tyrion and Braun. Braun lets Tyrion know early. Yeah, I'm just doing this because you're paying me and you're at Lannister. Whereas Jon Snow is the only one that sees the value in Samuel Tarly, who was rejected by everyone else, who was an overweight guy, who was shunned by his father uh, when he should have been the heir to to his house. Jon Snow sees the good. In people, in a way that Kristen Cole never has throughout the entirety of the show, Cole only does what serves him and his agenda. This is easily for Jon Snow. I yield my time. I guess I'll do the rebuttal. I mean, it, you know, you look at a Kristen Cole trauma bonding with Allison, and I think that was stronger than any bond John had with anyone because he kept getting stabbed or alternatively killing the people he had been. Friends with. Sorry. Where is Egret? Where is okay. she, Cody? Where is she? So sorry. Uh, oh, the that's best John's fault. Is going to be yes. Kristen. Um, here is a quote that Kristen says: "It is not for you to plead for support from your lords like a 
beggar pleading for alms. You are the lawful king of Westeros and those who denied are traitors. It is past time they learn the price of treason. This is the type of friend that we all need. We all need a hype man in our corner, someone who's going to remind you that you're more powerful in your low moments, who's always going to prop you up. That is what I call a, a good friend. Kristen Cole is liked and respected. He's the type of friend that lets you skip the lines to get into the club. When you're with Kristen Cole, you're walking straight into VIP. Why? Because he's the man with the connections. He's the man who is the Lord Commander of the King's Guard, who is the Hand of the King, who has these high aspirations, who has the prettiest girls on his arm, Rhaenyra, Allison, Alice Rivers. So anything you would need in a friend, Kristen Cole has it, from propping you up to getting you the perks in life. Bard, and your time starts now. You know, Nettles, you you really can speak, but none of those things are about friendship or being a yes, good drinking bud. They they just aren't. Um, yes. Crispin would just the complain. Uh, you you go out drinking with 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 Crispin. All he's going to do is complain about Rhaenyra. That's not fun. That's not fun. He doesn't have any friends. Um, you made the point earlier. Uh, um, some might argue. Oh. Eamon, one eye was a friend of his. He slept with Eamon's mistress. You made that point yourself earlier. Not a friend. This is not the guy that you want as your friend. She uh, slept with him. Co 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 Cody already made made, made the point, Mr. though, that Wifey. John and Sam were the best, best friends in the entire story. Hands down. There, there is no argument about that differently. And you know why? Because John listens. John has empathy. John knows how to talk to people. He 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 went and Jagos was licking Sam's face. That that scene with them is the the best the best example of friendship there there could possibly be in the story. We there's no way we can Time. lose with these arguments. Do you have a rebuttal, writer? I said what I said. I just keep seeing Egret's face while they keep saying all these nice things about Jon Snow. I mean, yeah. you should be seeing a Sam Lotar. Nobody was a better friend to him. Right? You should be seeing Nobody Sam Lotar. Uh, Nobody is a better time. friend to him. Nobody is a better friend to him in his life than Egret. And you know what he did to her? Do you really? Did you think about what he did to her? Not only did he break her heart mm. and betray her, mm. he could have been killing her by running away and leaving her to her people to whatever punishment they would deal out. He didn't give a damn what was going to happen to her next. That's why she started shooting arrows. But she was so loyal to him, the asshole, that she couldn't even go through with killing him. But he Ryder, had effectively killed her. What happened killed to Bren and Pip? They're what dead. What happened to John's friends? They They're all dead. Dead, yeah. You know why? Yeah. Because they serve as his plot armor. Meanwhile, Kristen Cole's friends, we're, we're VIP at the club. We got a bottle service brought to our table because we're That's with right. the couple. We're with Lap the man. dances for all the Kristen bros. Kristen Cole, the best friend, the one who hypes you up. And Private entrance, time. limousine. Do you have a rebuttal, loser? Flashing life. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Kristen is that drunk guy at a bar that's pushing people around, starting fights, and getting into dumb shit. Whereas cool. John... Kristen Cole would have never ever seen the value in a Samuel Tarly. He would have never seen him to the Citadel. And Kristen Cole would have ne would have looked at Sam, seen a fat, overweight guy who couldn't fight, and would have never seen any value in him. John knows how to dig deeper. He knows how to see real friendship. It, everything that he did for Sam, for Gilly, for for the babies, even um, killing Rattleshirt. Dude, he is just the better guy. He's the better friend. He's the guy that you want on your side in every scenario to pour your heart out to. It's when, John, and it's easy. When Mance was was being burned, John sent his guys to, to shoot arrows so he didn't suffer. John, John's John's the right. type of person he cares about people. Um, Chris and Cole is just a little bitch. He, he is. He's a little bitch. It's funny that bitch. you mentioned yet another one of his friends that died. Dead. No, Mance did Dead. not die. He's still alive. Dead. 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 Yeah, man's is for sure alive. John Dead. helped him die even faster. Good job. All right, chat. Let Rich know who is the better friend, better drinking buddy, and go ahead and put the donuts in the chat now. Donuts, donuts, donuts. Put Dunk the on this up, baby. Wolf pack. Like it's 1995 NWO, baby. Don't forget John switching people. No, the, the, the question. Let's, let's go back to the it's question. It's a good, good point. Which man is a better best? It actually says which man is a better best friend slash. I didn't. I didn't like. I probably didn't slash. Did pronounce the slash drinking buddy, right? And so it, it does feel like one team focused a lot on the drinking buddy and one team focused a lot on the better best friend aspect. 
Yeah. yeah but but a drinking buddy who always is always a fuck boy. Is He's a drunk. John's but, a real friend. But, 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 it kind of does allow you to make either me. argument there, and and. I actually don't think this is all that close because I think by casting it as better best friend, which you're, I think you're allowed to do with a slash like that, that 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 uh, you guys did a great job of focusing on arguing that John's best friend is Sam, that and and, and not Egret. He was never 100. That's on that sick. Relationship. He never yeah. slept with Sam. <laughs> well, you don't sleep with you your best friend. With your best friend. <laughs> Generally. <laughs> Generally. And don't forget that I started by, by Kristen Cole's quote, which is propping the man up. Like, he knows how to no, talk I, to I, I, I did like that you actually brought a, a real quote, and you made, you made good points there. Mm. I liked when we talked about the club. So that's not just drinking buddy stuff. Yeah. No, so you're right. You're right. You did, you did take the whole question. I could see the lights. Overall, though, we got we to give it to, to John. Whatever. So for question 12, I think we should skip it just for time's sake. And yeah. it's kind of redundant for one-to-one -one yeah. as well as leader in the field. So let's skip 12. If you have really good points, just save it for like the last question. Yeah. All right. So Rich, if you would just skip to question 13 then. Okay. Which man would better fit into 2024? And who is it? <laughs> I think it's so, my, my turn to go first. first. I'm not sure. You do you say you green bard? I think so. All right. Yeah, that's right. And your time Body starts first, time. now. John's sensitive. He listens. He makes friends. He's strong and wise, has a strong and wise character. He's smart. He's a leader. He's a learner. In in, in today's day and age, if you're not learning every single um day of your life, you're falling behind. But John shows that through the entire arc of his of his character that that he learns he gets he becomes a better fighter he learns from people he 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 listens to people he 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 makes um he he makes allies even when he doesn't need to when he may not like the people like like Sam and Mel a lot sorry so like like Stannis and Mel um he, he, but he can he can make friends now Kristen Cole on the other hand I just I just have to say again I think we did a pretty good job of showing that he doesn't really have any friends um, and and he's he's also a chauvinistic pig. He's not going to go very, very very far in our society here, right? Um, and then he might, I guess, I guess he might fit into a MAGA cult, but that's about it. I yield my time. You didn't have to. You didn't have to go that low. You didn't. <laughs> you really didn't. <laughs> Karma, ready? Your time starts now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You 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 say yourself that Jon Snow is sensitive. I don't know what about the year of our Lord 2024 makes you think that somebody sensitive is going to do better now on the cusp of World War Three. Let me exactly. tell you something. Jon Snow wouldn't be able to handle Twitter. He would get bullied so bad that the first day he would become a recluse and never go on the Internet ever again because people Bastard. bullied him so hard. He's absolutely a crybaby. He's never been good at like adapting and learning new technologies he's had everything handed to him he's had other people making the decisions for him you drop him here he's going to be a useless caveman he, he wouldn't be able to do anything you got anything else no get it your time i, I oh, i've got my time. stuff lined up <laughs> yeah i i mean i i don't think kit harrington could hardly ha handle 2020 then you put Jon Snow up in here. It, it, it's just a recipe for disaster. The the guy doesn't have the um the wherewithal. All right, that's to handle time. today. Daniel yeah, Dibka me, says Sleepy John can't keep up. Man, let me let me jump in here, man. <laughs> Your time starts now. Kristen Cole is a grade A fuck boy. He is everything that women in today's world claim to hate. He's the guy on Instagram showing off his six-pack abs with the baby oil. He's got a car behind him because he's wow. uh, you know, probably a Lambo because he's overcompensating. He's that type of douche, okay? Jon Snow is legitimate, okay? Jon Snow puts stuff in his Tinder profile. He's not expecting you to just swipe and look for a quick fuck. He wants you to see what he's really made of, that he has real emotions, and that men aren't just this macho, 
bravado type of bullshit that's been perpetuated in our culture forever. Not only is he a great warrior, but he's an understanding warrior. He's a warrior of the soul. Vote Jon Snow down with the fuck boys. I yield my time. We are definitely down with the fuck boys. <clears throat> All right. Which man would better fit into 2024? The Cole House words are, I'm not your whore. Okay. Cole is a man who knows his worth, which is something that's on trend for 2024, being a little bit selfish and knowing your worth. Zadrizes buzdari ixos daor. Another way of saying I'm not your whore is a dragon is not a slave, baby. We wow. love a boss babe like Kristen Cole who knows his worth. He was clapping Allison's cheeks. He was clapping Rhaenyra's cheeks. He was clapping Alice Rivers' cheeks. I have to say it again. He does not discriminate. He will clap wanton sluts like Rhaenyra, pop fake uh, Taylor Swift hoes like Allison. Okay. He would not drive a Cybertruck. Sorry. Lived in 2024. He would be a successful psychiatrist. He is wise and he's seen some shit. He's a, he's a war veteran. He mm. knows what it's like to be poor, to be rich, to be royal, to be in love. And he knows what it feels like to kill. He's, he's experienced the full tenet of human emotion. And with that, he'd be a perfect category, a candidate for 2024. Green Bar, did you go already? Was that I, I went went already? Was that was that your 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 time? Or so there's now rebuttals. Is that a rebuttal? so now, yeah, right now, rebuttal, now yeah. yeah rebuttal? Okay. You want to go, Co Cody? Can you start? Yeah, go ahead. Time um, now. Listen, my rebuttal <laughs> is that Kristen Cole is one. You spoke great Valerian nettles, and uh, it's actually kind of a shame <laughs> that you did it defending. Like I said, a great day, fuck boy. Everybody <laughs> knows what his stick is. He's yeah. jumping around from woman to woman that will put him in positions of power. Dude, he, he is, like I said, he is a 90s type of guy. He's not a 2024 type of guy. He's not in touch with his emotions. Okay, listen, even rappers are emo now. Emo is back in style. Jon Snow, it never went out of style with him. He's been emo since day one. And yeah. in 2024, man, that goes a long way, man. Cody, I just want to say that these these you know fake alpha types on Twitter, they are miserable people. They're they're not fitting yes. in. They're, they're they're trying to, to to make the box fit them instead of trying right. to live in in today's society. And time and time. Karma, did you have a rebuttal? Yeah, uh, I just want to tell Phil H in the chat that I myself love the Knicks and Rangers, so you could go to hell. <sighs> oh. Come on, it's cool. Um, it's cool. He's a Wall Street bro, finance, but he was the first one to start um to start Bitcoin. John, <laughs> yeah. John was beating his meat in his grandma's basement while Kristen Cole started Bitcoin. Stop it. Bitcoin. 2024 is I'm actually he does <laughs> seem suspiciously like a tech bro douche, right? I mean, stop it. Not, it. You can say what you want, but we're talking about successful and fitting into 2024, and that's Christian. Yeah, Cole. because he's going and to you guys did admit Donald Trump in. became like president and he's the biggest douche of them if all. Christian Cole were John alive Snow in 2024. Hold on, this is our time. Jon Snow cannot adapt. Kristen Cole mm -hmm. would, can adapt. No, cannot that's, adapt. Yeah. I mean, you guys made the point for us that magatites are thriving in 2024. It's uh, sad no, true. I agree not, with you. I agree with you, made. Green Bard. I can't come up with an argument against that solid point you made. Kristen Cole not listens to Andrew Tate. Human being. No, he doesn't. He killed yes, he Andrew does. Tate. Kristen he killed Cole Andrew Tate with his bare hands. Hand. Look, he killed Kristen Andrew. Cole is a horrible person. He would fit in great. All right, chat. Let us know. Put that donut in the chat. <laughs> These two sound like incels. <laughs> it, it's funny because you both you both kind of did describe describe each each of them that kind of that way. I was thinking when you're when you're claiming that that John would be a a crybaby, I'm like, oh, so he's Trump. <laughs> it's becoming the new Bechtel test. Everything comes down to Trump. <laughs> Not the Bechtel test. What's the other one? Um, you know I mean. Oh, oh, oh! The 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 the, the one where every online Nazi argument, one? the first the reference to Nazis. Yeah, that every online argument devolves into an argument about Hitler. 
Oh yeah, my gosh. Kind of true. Kayla says, I've not forgotten the question. The question is, which man would fit better into today's time, 2024? There's more donuts than wolves in the chat. Put them wolves up. Yeah, I, I, gotta say, I gotta say, if the argument is that he's too much of a of an Andrew Tate type, that, that could be pretty yeah. successful. He punched it's Andrew so Tate and broke his face. Just it's like sad that, that it's, it's sad, sad that but true. It's, it's, yeah, in so many ways, we are less evolved than Westeros. So, did I make the argument for Cole by mentioning Andrew Tate? Yeah. Fuck. No. <laughs> He, Damn. Nobody can he unsee it. Andrew Andrew Chase. Chase. Uh, the chat also he mentioned the pizza box. Puff Daddy. He beat up Puff Daddy, too. Oh, I said one wolf, two wolf. I don't wolf. Said, but the candy wolves are cool. <laughs> since, <laughs> since Cody's a sports guy, I got to get some time tonight. Between the donut or... <laughs> like donuts, they're saying you like Hitler. <laughs> the internet, exactly. Carl gets it. <laughs> But Richard, uh, yeah, I did make the point that th that those types, while some seemingly are are doing well, they're miserable. Yeah, you did you did bring up the fact that that's that that, that in general <laughs> most misery of them are miserable. Misery into twenty twenty four. I don't want twenty twenty four. It is the era of misery. Better. It is the era. Yeah, of sadly, sadly, I think it. I think it, the Christmas. <laughs> We this live point. in the era this of point. Kristen Cole. It is the era it's of bad. misery. It is the era of Trump might win. It is, come on, guys. The time of King Mavis and darkness. It's into 2024. All right. That, I think that's, does that tie it up? I think we had, did we have John up one? I think we had Boom. John up one before that. Final game. Amen. Yeah, we did have John up one. That's tied now. He's up right. <laughs> oh, this is a good so right. that Kristen Cole. Which man? Number 14, well, it's really 13 because we skipped one, but it's our 13th question, but it's question number 14. Which man had the better death? I didn't mean to put that. So that would mean that we're first because you guys went first last time. Well, um, Jon Snow, because it's good to watch him die. But besides that, the name of, of the event where Kristen Cole died was called the Butcher's Ball. I don't think it gets much more metal than that. You're getting stabbed to death. By you know your your brothers and and a small child in the in an alley in the dark that's that's not a cool way to go man I mean it's it's not really you know something you could blame on John but as far as which one's cooler the guy who goes down trying to save his men and is cut down by cowards too scared to fight him looks a lot better than the guy who gets stabbed to death by a little boy just my opinion you have my time. <laughs> Green Bard, your time starts now. Better death. He never felt the fourth knife. Oh Only God! Before. So John, John's death was um, very, very. Um, it, it was some of George's best writing. Let's just put it that way. And Kristen's call was kind of, was called kind of an afterthought. Everything was pretty much decided at the point of his death. So his death was pretty boring. And yes, you're right. He was trying to save his men. I, I, I actually give him that. But that are that, uh, that part of the argument. But he was a terrible commander to get them to that situation, so he he can't win 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 on that one. Um, and then we got to think about John's death. He he was um his his death and resurrection are modeled after the original man of the people, Jesus Christ. While Kristen was shot with arrow, arrows like the little bitch he was. Um, and, and John then now his resurrection is also so cool. He's going into ghost. And he, he, he's going to be there for who knows how long. George hasn't even written, showed us those chapters. He's going into ghosts. He's going he's gonna to have all this this stuff. He's, he's going he's gonna to be awakened and then be even more magically powerful at the end of it. Conjecture. He'll be a zombie. Just like his Conjecture. mother. Conjecture. Zombies are awesome. Stepmother, I should say. Which man had the better death? Kristen Zombies Cole died awesome. by his... Kristen Cole died by his enemy's hand, not by his men's hand. Kristen Cole died. By his enemy's hands, not his men's hands. They were so scared of Kingmaker that they wouldn't even fight him one-on-one. -on -one. Why? Because they knew that Kingmaker would have taken out their best men before dying. Yeah, he, he, Kingmaker knew he was going to die. He didn't He didn't put no white flag like Jon Snow would have done. He didn't kneel like Jon Snow would have done. He was like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take as many of you down as I can. Four-on-one, that seems fair enough. 
Um, he died with some good quotes, some good zingers. He died on his feet. And those cowards were so scared of him that they just threw some arrows into him. And guess what? That's a quick death. That means he didn't suffer that much, didn't even hurt. One minute he was on his feet beating his chest, chest the next minute he was dead. That is a better death than being betrayed by the men that you risked your life for and the pain of each stab that John went through. Come on, man. Kristen Cole had the better death. More honorable, more masculine. Cody, Mark, let me add on. your let time add on. starts now. It's such bullshit that you all keep on using John being, I mean, essentially a bunch of traitors, him being betrayed by his own men. Like that's something that's on John Snow and not on those men being a bunch of little punk bitches when John Snow was trying to save people from the incoming threat of the White Walkers. Okay. I'm tired of it. That's number one. And more importantly, if we're continuing with this conversation here, we're talking about a better death. Jon Snow really hasn't even died. He's going to come back in Wolf, like Green Bard said, or he's going to come back via uh, the Flames of R'hllor and, and Melisandre. He actually has cool shit getting ready to happen to him. Not only did Kristen Cole get his own men, but he got beheaded and had his head put on a spike. Like the loser little bitch he is, dude. Jon Snow for the win. I yield my time. I don't. I don't see how how John. Oh, oh wait, he said. Uh, no, he it is our time. rebuttal. It is our rebuttal. Yeah. Reclaiming well, my you, time. You had your hand up, so that I thought I had five time. seconds. No, that time. No, oh no, no, it was over. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have a rebuttal, writer? Yeah. Go. Jon Snow is going to be a zombie when he comes back. You look at the case of every single person who has come back from death. They do not come back stronger and better, Cody. Right? <laughs> they come back zombies. They come back as Lady Stonehands, that Stoneheart. They come back as uh, the diminished um, Dondarian. Everybody comes back lesser and lesser and lesser. And that's one of the biggest hints that he's not going to be as aura high. I just wanted to make that point. Cole went out like Tony Montana. Jon Snow did not. And then to, to your point, um, Team Jon Snow, you guys keep saying, oh, those, those guys were traitors. They were little bitches. You, it's not fair. You keep using it. We're using it to show you how low John is. That he was taken out by, in your words, bitches and traitors and unworthy men. So look at how low John Snow is. That he's being taken out by, by scum. And it, it takes great men to take Kristen out. So come on, who had the better death, Kristen Cole? Yeah, and you got to let go of the fantasy that John Snow is somehow going to be okay. He's dead, dead. It, it's not going to be zero cost coming and back. That's time, <laughs> Cody. Let me go, let me go first if you don't sure. mind. And time. So, so, so somehow the people that killed John be, being bitches is a good. You, you, Nettles, you're talking about a, a, both sides of your mouth. The, the, you you call you called them cowards, but but the, the John guys being cowards that's somehow against John. But but the, the ones that killed Kristen being cowards is somehow for I, it doesn't make any sense. But, it makes but sorry, sense. It earlier does. some your argument stepped into my wheelhouse. Ghost, ghost is the vessel that John will go into. Ghost is is um a green seer among dire wolves. And so, so John will not be diminished like Lady Stoneheart. Lady Stoneheart, she went into fish in a, in a river. That's where her yeah. consciousness was for three, three days. John is going to be in this powerful green seer vessel. We would connected vessel in ghost. One that Danny hears across the entire world. She hears the howl when John dies. John's death was amazing. Go ahead, Cody. But you don't think he's going to be diminished? Oh, uh, it's Cody's no. time. No, he won't. Cold desserts. Listen, if it comes back, he's going to be more Targaryen than ever before. He's probably going to have white hair. He probably is going to have that one thing that kind of died on the inside of him. And he's going to be more intense, more hardcore. And if that's death, like John survives death and comes back, that is the biggest win and of all I'm... of them. This thing goes never how doing much, that. How much of him is going to be the wolf after being in the wolf that long? Isn't that an issue, too? You guys have been complaining that he's too right, meek, and so now he's going to have a little wolfishness in him. That's a good I know. All right. I'm just saying, yeah, that, I'm just saying like, there's a you lot of different ways it could go, but you guys are let Rich know. Positive. Let Rich know who had the better death. Make it easy on him. Alexa, <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at some of these arguments. Like, if, if 
if John isn't dead, then then Crispin wins by default. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> You know, other people have made the same comment about the cowards. <laughs> it's fine. Nobody's giving me any uh, actual votes, though. Whatever happened to our emojis, people? This <laughs> tank. Okay, finally. Yeah, I see a wolf. Yeah. Ayla, oh, the yeah, question well. is, which man had the better death? Uh, like Northern, oh, Tommy oh, says, wow. Northern Tommy <laughs> says, they say he will come back wolfish, but he is going to come back dragonish. That kind of goes in line with what Cody was saying about the hair and everything. That makes sense to me. Yeah. But I see a lot of donuts. Cool. I don't see no wolves at all. Just donuts. Oh, it's, it's four to three right now. It's it's four to four. Going oh, out like four. Scar Oh, we got another one. That's no. wolves, baby. Yeah, the, but they, they don't have words. This one has words. Going out like Scarface did it for me. Come on. Tony Montana. Baby. Come on, baby. Say, Say hello, hello to my, my little, little friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Carl yeah. said without magic, John is dead, dead. It's not uh, John's fault that uh, Kristen Cole's too bitch to have her magic <laughs> at his disposal <laughs> of being able to war into wolves and dragons. Like, sorry, <laughs> Kristen Cole's so fucking lame, bro. Will you at least admit that his death is more metal <laughs> than John Snow's? I mean, metal, I mean, dude, his head's on a spike. Yeah, it's bad. So it's like that's yeah, it is pretty metal. Daenerys heard John's wolf crying across the world. That if that's not metal, I don't know what is. That's loud. If you hear, if you, if you no, if, it's if, a if, prince if song. Voice. This is what it sounds like when wolves cry. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I I think we give it to John. No, no, yeah. Yeah. you died no. by your friend. You know, I think it would be better argument. You are like going to be so upset. Hey, when John hey, hey, hey. Let, let that just man like make I his said. judgment. Let that man make his judgment. Your he employees. That's so All right. <laughs> Let's, I think we should skip 15 just because that kind of ties into who had the better story. Okay. Because one of my, one of my dire was is getting impatient. He wants his dinner. <laughs> yeah. So 16 and 17 and we'll be done. Got it. Okay, 15. Which man is better at their job? Um, I think it's you guys first. Go ahead, Cody. Time starts now. I mean, Kristen Cole's job is to be loyal to the family that he serves. He was not loyal to Viserys Targaryen when he literally uh, fucked his daughter. Sorry about that. But then he stabs her in the back. And, you know, in order to save his own ass, goes running to Alicent. It's a, at what time does he demonstrate really being good at his job? We get that multiple times throughout the story with Jon Snow. Uh, the battle at the wall, when he goes north of the wall. Uh, if you want to go to the show, when he goes uh, in that expedition up north, he just has more moments of him being better at his job and this is the man that was elected to be the commander of the Night's Watch. No one ever elected Cole to anything in his entire life. John is the better man at any job he's doing, pretty much. And that's my time. All right, uh, I yield the rest of my time, unless Bard wants to. Um, no, 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 no. I, I got some. All right. Which man is better at their job? Kristen Cole went from Kingsguard to Lord Commander of the Kingsguard in seven years. Some of you guys are still waiting on that promotion. Mm. He went from Lord Commander of the King's Guard um, to Hand of the King, which is, as you know, Hand of the King is the second seat in the realm. And he did that in 17 years. That's faster than Biden did it, okay? So the way that you define if someone is good at their job is their level of promotion and, and, and the time it takes to do that. While Kristen Cole is being promoted and getting his promotions by the work of his hands, Jon Snow is being demoted to death. His employees and his co-workers can't stand him because he's not good at his job. And he's so awful at his job that they kill him. The Kingmaker is so good at his job that even Allison wanted him. Allison hated Rhaenyra and would never take her leftovers, but Kristen Cole was such a good fighter that she overlooked her hate for Rhaenyra and hired Kristen because he was just that good at his job. And that's my time. 
Green Bard, you're laughing. You better have a good one. No, I just I just like that argument. It was funny. Yeah. And your time <laughs> starts now. John had colossal accomplishments as Lord Commander. He held the wall, wall uh, in, in, in was critical to the protection to the others in the whites from the others in the whites. Right? He negotiated with the wildlings, saving thousands. He negotiated with Stannis, negating a threat from the Boltons and the Iron Islanders. He negotiated with the Brobosi banker to prevent famine. He dealt strongly with the insubordination and got rid of that little bitch, um, Janus Slint. Um, and then, you know, again, we I got to go back to Rook's rest, okay? He was, the, his first thing in being hand, he planned the battle, puts his king in harm's way when he has Vagar. Vagar was going to win anyway, but his king yeah. gets burned to shit. <laughs> I mean, come on. And then he maybe he won one other battle, but the rest of the rest of the war, he just got his ass handed to him left, right, left, right, and then died again. A little bitch. Yes, he they, they wouldn't fight him because he was good with a sword. But his job at that point was hand of the king. And time. Not just being a swordsman. He was a terrible leader. Oh okay. yeah. It's a very simple question. Time. Which guy was better at his job? All right. What jobs, actual jobs, did Jon Snow have? He His first job, his very first job, joined the Night's Watch. What does he do almost instantly? Goes AWOL. Let's be honest. Jon Snow should have been dead the second he passed the gates of Castle Black and, and betrayed his oath. That was the first time he did it. He gets away with it. Go figure. He does it again. They make him Lord Commander. He quits. He said, no, nah, I already died. And even though I'm right in front of you alive, I quit. So he could say, oh, I'm out on a technicality all he wants. He's an oath breaker twice over. He didn't do his job twice over. Let's talk Woo! some more about his accomplishments when he was Lord Commander. He was in charge of keeping the wildlings out. What did he do? He let the wildlings in. You could say whatever you want. That was not the job. You could say it was right. You could say it was wrong. That was not the job. He gets made king by the people up north, right? He said, they say, please save I'm us. Please represent us. What does he immediately do? He bends the knee and gives that power away to Danny. He just sucks. Do I get to Every rebuttal? time. Yeah. Every Your job. Your rebuttal starts now. Yeah, again, put, like King, uh, like uh, Bard said, putting his king in harm's way at Rook's rest, uh, uh, breaking his oath, and uh, sleeping with the king's virgin daughter, then hopping to Alicent, and basically just using her for his own benefit uh, of advancing himself, he has never proven to be good at his job. And then again, when he's when he dies at the butcher ball, butcher's ball, he gets all of his men killed. All of his okay. men killed. Look, John has had mistakes. He's had some great triumphs, and he's made mistakes. But all of the biggest decisions that Cole has ever made involve him breaking his honor breaking his oath and being an unbearable fuck boy piece of shit it okay. is in his character mormon covered the first a wall and he was not not found guilty so i don't know what we're talking about there it's totally unfair to say he went a wall the second time he was under orders from the half hand and the job was to protect the realms of men not from other men from the others and the whites all right time um now we get a rebuttal um yeah i and I just want to just harp on what, what Ryder is saying is that like, yeah, it doesn't matter whether you think that G.R. Mormon forgave John. The idea is that where was his heart? Where was his head? And his first thing is to like, fuck the night's watch. I'm going to go do my own thing. Um, and Kristen never did that. You guys said Kristen betrayed where Kristen led until his death. Kristen, did it, what, uh, come on, stop it. Ryder, do you have more? There, you have, I no mean, also that saying that he betrayed. betrayed the King by sleeping with the princess. He was, Forced to do what the princess says. You can't say no to a princess. Oh, he was her not sworn shield. Shield. What are you talking he about? He was her sworn you shield. You he can't say no pussy. to royalty. That's how it works. It's fucked up. They say, yeah. hey, suck, suck my you know what. He you was gotta shielding suck their you know pussy. what. You gotta you gotta say all the bad words that I'm not gonna say because I'm a gentle possum. But <laughs> you gotta do it. Yeah. So stop it. Rich, if you need to feed your dog, you can. While you mull over, who wins? Um, uh, we'll, 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 we'll wait for now. I think. He's yeah, we have one. Running. Yeah, it depends. Oh, you know, we can jibber jabber for a little bit. That's <laughs> right. Cool with that, oh, we appreciate it. All right. So, 
Um, I think I think Guy misunderstood your your point, right? You you were I think if I understood the points properly, the the, the point was John wanted to, you know, as as you said, John wanted to to, to go a wall if they brought him back. But the second time that they're referring to is actually the stabbing, right? So, so the, the the real reason for the stabbing isn't you let wildlings through. The reason for the stabbing is you announced that you were going to participate in the wars of the, of the realm, which is exactly what you promised not to do as Lord Commander. That was that's the second day. Well, as I understood what you were guys were saying, maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I interpreted it. Um, and and you you interpreted it as as obeying uh, Corin's command, right? So that was, it was kind of, I think there was two different interpretations of what, well, what yeah, the Richard, so wall I, meant. I, I think you're wrong on that, Richard, but uh, that's fine. I mean, you, you, no, you, I mean, I think that was their point. I, maybe I'm wrong. That's how I interpreted their, 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 their it wasn't, wall point. It was him leaving when he came back to life. It just, what would you write yeah. on the employee? Yeah, she even said a lot of technicality, well, the technicality being that he was dead. I would have rebutted that too. I mean. But that was the point because she specifically said on the technicality that he was he was dead. So no, you're right. That's a third. That's kind of a third or fourth one, depending. On yeah, I, I didn't hear that third one then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. I, I got that wrong actually. Um, Chat. Go ahead and let Rich know. I definitely buy the um, the power imbalance, so so that he didn't have have any choice in the oath breaking there. I think that was a really good counter argument on that one. Um, but there's some, a some great argument the reason, I laugh, there. the reason I laugh when she said that is because there's a king above the, the, the princess. I mean, and and so I mean, yeah, but there's always somebody higher until you get to the king, and the king was never involved in that. So I, I thought that was kind of um splitting hairs and uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, your argument there. She commanded me to seduce her, I swear, Your Honor. <laughs> it's her sworn shield, and he had to shield that pussy, and there's no better argument than what that. What was she going to do if he said no? Do you even want to ask yourself what a Targaryen does to you when you say like, no? If he didn't get into those guts, someone else would have, and then it would have been bad. He did the right thing. Yeah. She wasn't his boss. The king was yeah, there are people who are making the same argument. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. It's certainly the way the show portrayed it, it was as if it was a, it, it did feel like there was a, a power imbalance going for, for Rainier. And stuff. like I said, Rainier the King's Guard time. Oath so. says don't marry. It doesn't say don't have sex. Just like the uh, Night's It said Night's don't Watch. marry, I, I, not I, don't have sex. Yeah, well, it said I will bear no right children, so it means you've got to use moon tea. <laughs> but we're aren't we pretty sure the first one is his? I mean, that, that I am, so... <laughs> Because it wasn't really not that. Not that very cool, cool, you know. So <laughs> that is a real kingmaker right there. Then <laughs> no, I, I don't think he becomes king. Aegon the Fourth does. Damon's son, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know who's Bring better at their job. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I kind I kind of thought that the that the points were better for Kristen. Yeah, he actually got promotions. Stop oh it! Oh my god, yeah. did we do it's it? Pretty impressive. And once he got to an actual position of power, he, he had three he positions of King power. King Star, Lord King Commander, and the I'm sorry. I, I just I can't we actually, four, <laughs> we actually done 14 questions, and that, that would bring the score to 7-7. Seven to seven. So it all comes down to this. Oh, Boom. my what? gosh. <laughs> Which man has the better story? Last question. Who's first? I'll go first. Okay. Um, yeah, Corey went first last time. All right, and your time starts now. Jon Snow's story is a plot hole, I'm sorry, and a story about blonde-haired kids exposing the infidelity of a queen to a dark-haired king. Jon's dark hair hides his lineage as a plot contrivance. He has no Targaryen features. His story is a plot hole. You on the merits as a person who loves to read, who has read all these books and learned about writing from George R. R. Martin, we also have to admit we've learned enough to know that's a pretty damn big plot hole. Cole, meanwhile, overcame anti-Dornish discrimination and a hard set caste system to become one of the most influential people in the Seven Kingdoms. It, that's a story of inspiration that we could still use today in our daily lives. What can we learn from a story about a plot hole with, with, with plot armor? Nothing that helps us. None of us could be Jon Snow in our lives, but every single one of us could be a Kristen Cole. I yield my time. Mm. 
Beautiful. I'll go first. You're, you're very smart and beautiful. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and your time, <laughs> hold on. Your time starts now. Unlike Reaper Cheap there, I'm going to go and uh, talk just about John because his story was so good. He he it's a he leaves his family in a coming of age story in, in a Game of Thrones. He has journeys. He has mentors. He learns. He grows. He finds humility. He has great feats. He loved and lost, not due to chauvinism, but due to tragedy. Tragedy of being different. Tragedy of what happened in that battle. He picks up the pieces. He tries to be better, to be a leader of men, to lead by example, only to be rejected and then magically overcome it. He he learns from everything along the way. He returns to his family, eventually makes sacrifices of himself to protect those all around him he came to love. Um, and then, you know, the other stuff that's so cool, he has a Valyrian steel blade. He might end up wielding a sec second one. Um, I see Richard's shirt. Um, he might be wielding Dawn later on, right? Uh, he's a great leader, a great friend, a great fighter. He has, in my opinion, he has dragon rider genes, and he's a warg with an awesome freaking wolf. Yes, and with those dragon rider genes and those wolf genes, like White Chocolate Espresso says, if he, if John had a great story, he would be king. Have you not watched season eight? It didn't matter that he had those genes. White Chocolate is such a simp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which man had the better story? Imagine this. Imagine you grow up in a region that has even temperatures where you don't have harsh winters and you can grow crops. You're growing up in perfect weather in close proximity to slutty girls from Dorne and slutty girls from the Reach. You learn how to fight by the best fighters in Westeros and have plenty of practice. You earn mental stability and personal validation by becoming a member of the most elite team in Westeros, the Kingsguard. You sleep with a dragon princess who has hot blood. You sleep with the queen, the most beautiful woman in Westeros. You sleep with a witch. You become the Lord Commander. You have job security. You eat the best food. You wear the best cloth. You watch the best shows. You go to the best parties. Your name is written in the history books forever. And you have the ability to get a ride on, on a dragon and experience flight. You become Hand of the King. You feel the glory of winning battles. You have a quick death with no pain, no fire. And all your men are around you and they have your back. It's a better death than Sharif and less painful than John's. Who had the better story? It's Kristen Cole, the man who went against dragons. Kingmaker. Kingmaker! Cody. And your time starts now. The man with the better story is the man who is the prince that was promised. The man who is the embodiment of a song and ice and fire. The man who believes that he is a low-born bastard only to one day realize that he is the son of royalty. Not only is he royalty from a Targaryen perspective, but his brother, Rob Stark, legitimized him and made him the true king in the north. He is a war. He has his dire, wolf's, uh, his dire wolf ghost, which is literally the first scene that you see in the entire story. How symptomatic that all these Starks get their wolves and then there's that one left that doesn't make a sound that's out there fending for himself on his own. That is Ghost, and that is Jon Snow. He goes from rags to riches in Westeros and does so as one of the most noble, proud, valiant warriors in the Time. entire story. I rest my case. This story Time. is Jon Snow's story. <laughs> Time. <laughs> And the dance of the dragon is Kristen Cole's story. Okay, what are we doing? We're budding. Do you have one yep. writer? Or or wait, did Green Bard you I went? Was... No, it's your it's your turn to rebut. Okay, it's, it's your turn to rebuttal. All right, time starts now. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna tell me that all these things might happen in the future of Jon Snow's story. That might make it a really great story, but we don't have any of that to rely on. We only have what we have so far, and Jon's story goes not not from rags to riches but you know riches to rags uh, rags i guess rags. you know it's and not cold. really an upward trajectory and stew John. every day no good food yeah i mean when you talk about Kristen cole's story and and what you can glean from it i i really do think on a storytelling level the amount of plot contrivance that's required for john's story to work 
makes Cole's story uh, objectively superior. Just on and John's level. story ended with him going back to jail. Sorry, I have to use a point in the chat. It was too good. His story ends with him going exactly where he started. Stop it. That is yeah. not progression. Yeah, I, I just, you know, it, it could end up years from now when we get the other books uh, end up being that John has the better story. But I think the story that we have to work with Time. is the TV show. And uh, it was bad. So John, Cody and Bard, who wants to go yeah. first? So John, uh, John regressed back to the Night's Watch because he protected the entire realm from a tyrant. So, so John overcame that. I, I said that in, in my thing. I wasn't specific, but um, he eventually makes sacrifices to protect all those he came to love. And that's the, that's the entire uh, breadth of people he met. Yes, he had to sacrifice one, him, himself and, and, and Danny, but he protected everyone else to make the realm better. That, that, that's, a, that's a hero right there. John is a hero. Go ahead, Cody. I, I know you got more. Uh, oh, shoot. Mute, muted? Mute. Yeah, I can't mute myself. Uh, no, I mean, just he is the embodiment of heroism in the story. I mean, there are so many great uh, you know, examples of, of heroism, but John is one of the biggest ones. I mean, th the fact that this story starts with him, it kind of makes me believe that it's also going to end with him. And listen, I know that the, the rest of the books haven't Fine. been finished yet. But we know what's coming, okay? And it's you epic. Can't... And it involves Jon Snow. Now I'm done. Mm. No, you can't say, oh, it's going to be written better. His story's better. If it's not written yet, how is it better? How is yeah. nothing better? It's good enough if already wishes... to be Kristen Cole. That's all I got. If wishes were wishes. Wishes. Now. Why does wishes John, wishes John have no Targaryen features when every other Targaryen has strong he's Targaryen he's slender, features? It's like a plot hole. It's a plot hole. We all know you were He's not a big hero. He didn't look like a Targaryen. He was a Targaryen. The first time you read it. He's a Zora High after being red hair once i'm sorry go back and read it again you gotta learn that this stuff repeats that's how george remember, does these our, things our, our judge has an N, N, N plus a equals j shirt so some of these arguments aren't gonna work for him anyway <laughs> i'm just saying I, if you're gonna tell me how it's not a plot you know uh, a plot hole you could explain it Chat. to me maybe i miss something Chat. see triple targaryen episodes one and two <laughs> Chat, we need you this is neither the last of his parents have ghost is badass Ghost would win against Cole. Oh, did I mention Jon Snow has a Valyrian steel sword? And it, he did nothing with it. He and and and, and it was Arya. I, I think I'm, I'm, in my argument, yeah. I mentioned yeah. the, the, the sword Jon should have had got melted down into a couple of Lannister bastardizations. He got <laughs> Tur Mormont's sword. He got another man's oh, sword. Kristen Cole that. lived a full life. Jon Snow lived a, a pimply prepubescent life. Stop it. <laughs> it is it is funny that that um, uh, two two of these people <laughs> know me extremely well. <laughs> and so their, their arguments are a little different than the two who don't know me at all. I did say you were very handsome and wise. <laughs> Rich, you are Rich. You you do look really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That sure does look oh. great on you, uh, even though if it's falling. describing a plot no. hole. Remember, remember, Richard, I said he, he might wield, wield Don, okay? Or just remember that. <laughs> Wielding Don oh, doesn't save the story. All right. Yeah. So exactly what Don will do is, is save the story. Yeah, we, Chat, what one, are you one saying? One of the things about this is we've always said that you get to interpret the question and with the books or the show and however fits your arguments. And um, so you've, you've certainly both done a good job of explaining <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> throw, throw a link to Asher's Trueborn Son in the, the chat there, Carl. Anyway. <laughs> all right, this is for anyway. all the marbles, man. This is it, right? This is yeah, uh, the yeah. White Chocolate yeah. Espresso says George R. R. Martin got bored with John and created Cole. Yeah, so anyway, John, yeah, I don't think John's okay. story is a is a plot hole because I, of course, I don't think that John's story is what, what people think it is. I I actually think that George is deliberately ambiguous writer who considers there to be multiple correct answers. And if they if they had said Wyla was the answer, he would have said he would have said great. You know, he's just asking to see if they're paying attention. There's multiple correct answers because this is a this is the disciple of Gene Wolfe, and and he's 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 definitely. 
believes in ambiguity and and uh, if like you know he wrote with morning come miss fall he's 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 there's multiple correct answers is, is my point um john Absolutely. leaves family coming of age mentors growth humility you know i i think there's some great arguments here i do think that that Ryder did make a good point with the fact that either no matter what you believe john's parentage is the point is he's it's it, he's elevated He's, I mean, it's the same story that we hear from him, right? When we hear from um, Donald Noy, right? He's he's in a position because of his birth, whatever that is, for some of his story. Whereas Kristen is rising up. Like that's a that's a, I thought that was a pretty good argument. Um, I do think that running through the story as as Guy did with you know all the different things and the and, and what he learns and grows and the mentors and so forth yeah it's, it's also also a great argument great story and it, as we said, people, great story. that was me who who ran through no the you both did you both did a great job Nettles both did a great did. job of running through they, the, the, you both did a great job of of almost a almost a um a, the the opposite of a, a dish gallop a true gallop i don't know if there's a term for that but the the, the stronger argument but uh, or Look at what of, Nelson of Moreno says. He said John had a better story, but Team Crispy had better arguments. Boom. Listen, Nelson's one man. Richards, Richards are, are, are good Nelson guys. Moreno also won the Nobel Peace Prize, and he actually has an <laughs> IQ of three hundred. So okay, Fair You're right. Right. <laughs> so no, I mean, beat it out of me. He's <laughs> <laughs> Good. Both have some very stretchful ones. It's fine. You could give it to John. Whatever. I, I, mean, I, I personally like this story better, and I thought that they did a great job of highlighting, especially Guy. But kind of funny that the two people who know me knew. Like you guys were both. You guys both did a great job just running through the story and saying, "This is why this is good, and this is good, and this is good." Great arguments, guys. I'm just but happy yeah, that I do think John is a better story. The entire time. So you can go ahead and give it to John because y'all love to suck some stark dick. <laughs> <laughs> just know that, hey, Kristen was there the whole time, neck and neck with John. Every at, at least, Absolutely. At least, Absolutely. Least, Absolutely. Definitely a hard choice. Starks will reciprocate, right? Okay. John proved that. <laughs> well, <laughs> and these infections are not sweet, baby. <laughs> I got to get to my dogs, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for waiting, Richard. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. So the Kristen got the last point. So Kristen wins. Yeah, Kristen wins. Uh, what? No, 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 don't take care of the dogs. Thank you. All right. You guys are awesome. Go Have hunt the dog one. for us. Bye. Bye, Richard. So to Bye, close Richard. up, you guys saw guys, Kristen won. Kristen won, uh -huh. hands down. <laughs> yeah, except uh that's clean sweep. Not Except we know that John won, so we're good. Honestly, yeah. I'm I'm the, proud the, of us for fun. getting it close. That was very fun. Now, now that we know that John Snow won and that it was very close, do, does anyone have like any closing arguments or just things they wanted to say they didn't get to because of the timer? Or do you want to say that you want to give us the trophy because Kristen Cole deserved it after after this debate? Well, I, I think <laughs> I mean. Nettles, you, 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 you. I, I, for first of all, I'm really happy to, to have met um, Ryder of Karma and Cody. You, you guys were awesome. It was really, really fun. You're, you're both hilarious. Um, I, I, sorry, I had to say something about Reepicheep earlier. <laughs> that was great, actually. Oh, oh no, Green him. Party froze. That's what happens when you call me Reepicheep. Oh my god, oh, that's what no. you get. Why would it freeze? I will never oh, release it. Froze right it's my power. Too. <laughs> I could have done this the whole debate. I Does was anyone fine. else have, have but the debate is arguments. over? There will be no more talking for you, Green Bard. Not today. Oh, poor Green Bard. He was on <laughs> yeah. a roll too, man. Oh, there you go, Green Bard. Oh, okay. uh, he had to oh, no. I banished him. <laughs> Cody, did you have any closing arguments or did you want to say how well? Careful Kristen what you say. Did. I mean, listen, I've never debated uh, a possum before. <laughs> so this is the first time for everything. That was really cool. Uh, yeah, frankly, it's kind of stuff. embarrassing that uh, you guys made it as, as close as you did. Uh, I feel like John Snow should have won a few more than he actually did. But uh, hey, man, as long as we got the W, as long as we got the W, as long as we got the W, it was um, not amazing because uh, embarrassing because our opponents were amazing. So I, I gotta say that, yeah. Oh, absolutely. say that again. Our opponents were amazing. Yes, yes I like to say that again. Fun. 
<laughs> Say that again. No. <laughs> Our opponents were amazing. You, you guys brought it, every single one of them. You know, I thought we were going to lose some more that we didn't, that we did, did win, actually, just, just because you, you hit hard. It was, it was really fun. <laughs> were you saying anything else, Cody? Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, uh, thank you for having me on again. This was incredibly fun. Uh, I'm, I'm down to do as many of these as you asked me to. And um, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing more content. More, in the yeah. I appreciate y'all. I want to say thank you. <laughs> I want to say thank you to everybody in the chat. Oh, yeah. Everybody yes. in the chat had all the good ideas, and it was hard for me not to just like steal your stuff and try to stick to my own brain. But everybody here seems to know so much more about A Song of Ice and Fire than me, and I was just happy that I got to sit at the big kids' table and uh, <laughs> argue with all yeah. you guys and say my piece and i just love talking about game of thrones stuff i could do it all day it's cool Same. i put my microphone in front of the future... chat so i missed most of it but it was really cool what i did see i have you on some future um debates writers so you could always use the the chat's arguments for your rebuttal because i did that like yeah oh, okay. of course i want you to use your own mind for when you make your points but hey those rebuttals are free-for-alls use yeah i didn't want have. to do a faux pas <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for being here. As you know, uh, Jon Snow won, but he was a worthy opponent to to lose to. It hurts. No, he's me. not. The <laughs> next the next debate I have coming up is Visenya versus Arya. So please stay tuned and be on the lookout for that debate coming up. And other than that, thank you for joining us here on the Westerosi debate team. John won. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Peace. Bye. Peace and love. <laughs> Don't eat anything I would eat. Ew. <laughs> Jeez, your mind is it so. It's almost.